guys, welcome to the Dungeons and Dragons Takeover by Xdo. And let me put Xdo where I am. There we go. Because this is actually his show, and he's kind enough to let us play when Chris can't go. Chris from Auto, not Auto. Oh my God. Chris is Aquatic. Uh, no. Take Chris two. Is, uh, what? Chris, Chris Aquazone. Chris Aquazone. I get it mixed up with uh, AutoZone all the time, and it throws me so off. I can hear that. But, yeah, thank you. And so, if you're here for D and D, you've come to the right place. If you're here for Fish, we love to have you, but we understand if you don't want to stick around. Okay, well, take it away, X do. Okay, so um, as as some of you know, Chris Aquazone has a, a pretty challenging job, has him traveling a lot. Uh, we started a campaign several months ago with him. That's been great, but his work schedule is picked up and he can't make it every week. So we um, come up with this little fill in session uh, for when Chris can't make it. And Ed, thank you again for all your help in setting it up and, and handling the stream and the thumbnails and all that stuff. And thank you everyone players for being here. Thank you, participants in the chat. Hello, 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 everyone. Um, we had kind of, until earlier today, thought that Chris was going to go tonight. And so I'm not as prepared as I should be <laughs> because this kind of came up. Yeah. But we're going to jump in. Uh, I think we're still... Speaking we're still waiting for... There you go. I lost you for a second. Uh, so we think Skipper might still be coming. We think Skip might be coming. Um, but we'll go ahead and chat a little bit uh, until we get some other people. Um, so again, as, as just a kind of a catch up, we are a group of adventurers that were in a town. We signed up with caravan to escort them across a desert. We, a couple of days into the journey, were swept up by a snow or a sand storm and spent a couple of days wandering through the, the desert looking for food looking for water came across a, a deserted village city town really all you could see that wasn't buried in sand was three statues at the top of the pyramid you found a door you went in and you've been exploring the pyramid you found a group actually three different groups factions, if you will, of humanoids, humans that are living in the temple. You've made contact with them. You've managed to avoid getting killed by them so far. Um, and you've done a couple of levels of the dungeon and you are just about done with the third level. I think there's one little corner that you haven't explored yet. And then you also need to verify how to get down to the next level think and I was so I was going to go back and look because there is because when, when this came up this afternoon I didn't even know how you get down to the next level of the pyramid uh, so I did find it and I was going to go back and look at the replay video to see if you guys found it because you may have but I did not have a chance to do that so um, if need be once we get to that point we'll just retcon it and we'll figure out how you get there so you ended up last time, uh, you fought some baboons, you fought a big lizard up in the uh, northwest corner, and then you kind of, at the end of the session, we kind of came back to this central gathering area, which is that rotating, um, rotating hallway. And I think right now it's turned in a way that it goes from the northeast to the southwest and so you had most recently been down in the southwest area down here which is just a little passageway that goes to a storeroom there is i think you found there's a secret door here behind a statue you've not been down there yet okay and and the door was the 
priest. We haven't written that one yet. Say again, Holly. The door with the priests. We haven't been to this one yet. Well, you've been in that room from the other direction. Oh, okay. Hmm. There's a uh, there's a secret door there. I don't remember how you know about that, but you came in this main door over here. You did meet these. That's the Magi, Magi. Mm -hmm. um, and you did meet them. Okay. Cool. And um, tr Scotty actually tried to get them to go talk to the warrior maidens who are just right across the hallway. Uh, and they're like, oh, yeah, we're not so sure about that. Maybe at some point, but not today. I'm going to text Whip to see if he's coming so he, if we could see if he can unlock this door. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, flashing. Huh. It's weird it's not flashing on my screen. It's on mine. Well, just stopped, but it was going like flashing white. Hmm. But it's good now. Uh, on the on the map, is that what you're talking about, Osama? Yeah, like the 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 share screen. It was on my end. It was like flashing. Yeah, that might be roll twenty. It's kind of funky sometimes. And if there's a if there's a session where I don't have to reload at least once or twice, I'm surprised. <laughs> Just kind of nature of the beast, but it. it yeah. You know, I do like the tool. It's pretty handy. If you can't, you can't be playing in person. It's like I've tried to play on Discord and other. Just a hassle. This actually works pretty well. It's just a little. It's got some hiccups. Would it be okay if I check the door and listen to see if uh, I could hear anything on the other side of that secret passage? Yeah, give me a perception check in. Only 23. Nice. Nice. Um, so go back here and read the description again. It's been a minute. Find what room this is. Yeah. Please stand by. Nineteen, 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 nineteen. <clears throat> so again, uh, at the end. Of this short corridor is an eight foot tall bronze statue of a winged child, same one that you saw in various other places, including the top of the pyramid when you got here, uh, with two snakes entwined around its body. It holds a wand in one hand and a handful of coins in the other. And again, uh, we talked about this last time, it's really just uh, carved out of stone. So there's no actual coins, there's no actual wand, anything like that. But you do notice with that role, Ed, um, looking at the wall and looking at the statue, it looks like the one arm of the statue might be movable. Moving? Yank it. Well, <laughs> uh, I guess since Killer told me to yank it, I will. That didn't sound good, but that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I should have thought about what I was saying there. But I'm going to grab the arm and try to see if I can maneuver it in a different position. Okay. Uh, as you grab it, which way are you going to move it? You try to pull it towards you, push it away from you, go to the left, go to the right, pull up, push um, down. I will pull it down doesn't seem to move down. It, it kind of seems like uh, he's holding the wand up and it looks like his elbow pivots, like you could go left or right, but not forward or backwards. Okay. <laughs> I guess I will go right. Are you sure? No, I'll go left. <laughs> So, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Ed. As, you, as you pull the arm to the right, um, there is a gaseous cloud that comes out of the statue. You, let's see, give me a constitution saving throw, please. 
Okay, uh, Constitution. Oh, well, I'm not too bad at this. Thirteen. Yeah. Maybe thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, just enough. Uh, so you managed to kind of <laughs> duck back away from the gas as it comes out um, with no ill effects. But there's a gas kind of in that area. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to jump back and say, guys, there's some, I think it's trapped and gas came out of it. Yeah, and, and it's a pretty visible gas, so anybody who's right there behind you probably sees it as well. And you all kind of duck back a little bit. Great, now what? Anybody got the spell gust? Or... Um, I mean, <laughs> but we just be yeah. dumping it into a wall. Huh? I mean, let's be honest here. If there's a trap, there's something probably valuable behind it. Yeah. Can anyone disarm it? Well, only a thief. He, our thief, is that just walked in the door <laughs> to his house. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to keep track of him on my phone, but he's not here yet. So, <laughs> um, what do you track him on GPS on your phone? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to be my neighbor, so I got to make sure that I don't have riprap moving in next door. <laughs> so true. When does it look like the, the gas dissipates enough for me to try to push it left? <laughs> Can I use my uh, main okay. to uh, move it to the left? So as you go up and you grab the arm and you pull it to the left, the wall behind the statue slides to the side. Oh. And there's room enough to squeeze around. And I can even show you what you see. Oh. Woohoo! Uh, so what you see is a, a hallway. Oh, hang on. Did I do that right? Try again. There you go. Uh, you see a hallway going down about 60 feet. And there's a door <coughs> up here that you saw when you were in that other room. It's a little off place, but there is a door there. And then the hallway comes in. And then there's another door at the end of the hallway on the south edge down there where I'm pinging. I wonder if the girls have a secret uh, entrance into their uh, room also, because isn't this two out of the three now that we found? <clears throat> yes. So there's the Brotherhood of Grom that you met a couple of sessions ago. They're a level up. And you did um, down here in the southeast corner, there's, a, there's another room that's theirs essentially um but then the warrior maidens who were off to the right side the east side you came up through their shrine and then down through their treasure room in the northeast corner and then met them in their lair and again all of these groups have told you that they do have bigger fortresses in the lost city way underneath uh the pyramid itself um so these are just kind of like smaller factions but um yeah i think you've seen trap doors in or secret doors in uh all three of the groups that you've met hmm. so well, do you want to go back in and talk to the magi or do you want to go through that door to the south i don't think we need to waste our time talking to those schmucks I say, let's go south. Okay. But first, let's the door. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing that I'm probably best at checking and noticing things. I've got a plus five. So okay. I'm going to go for it. Clerics are normally good at noticing stuff because of their high wisdom. And I scored 11. <laughs> Which is pretty average, right? So, um, 
Well, I rolled the perception while he was uh, taking yep. his time. Yep, Kalish got her roll in. That's a good one. Nice. Uh, neither Kalish. of you standing at the door. Neither, neither of you hear anything. Okay, well. Then I guess we go in. Who wants to yep. go first? Do you want the clerk to keep trying to open the door, or do we want a tank? I can go first. I don't mind. Okay. Because yep. that way... It's easier for me to revive you than you to revive me. Right. <laughs> no, <it's pretty> good. <laughs> I was thinking okay. that when I got asked. All right, Lady Rose. Okay. I didn't hear As that. the paladin opens the door, you see a room that looks like that. Oh, sweet. Beds. <laughs> um, this room contains six double bunk beds. At the foot of each bunk are two wooden chests. The room looks clean and well kept. Can I investigate and look in the chests? <coughs> yes. No. Can I suggest that we have two lookouts at the door that they could walk through and then tell the other people to rifle through everything? I'll stay watch. I will too. I'll investigate. I'm going to okay. take a pillow blanket, stuff it in my pack. Oh. Nice. Could this be the uh, gentleman to the north? This uh, Their sleeping quarters? They might not be too happy if we go through their stuff. Right. So that's why yeah, I you, suggest you, do it. You can just like, I mean... You know, where, whereas, you know, some parts of this dungeon have been very dusty and neglected. This this room is obviously being used. Um, you can you can make a short jump of, of logic to um, think that the Magi use this as their sleeping quarters. Uh, but anyone who's looking around the room. Pretty quick. Uh, so, Scotty, as you're looking around on the south wall. You see an area of the wall that looks a little bit discolored. And as you go up and prod it a little bit, you find a catch that opens up a secret door. Mm -hmm. nice. So did he find anything in the chests at the foot of the bed? Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, it, it's it's really just like common everyday things. There's a couple of personal items here and there. It's extra robes. Um, really nothing of, of value. It looks like personal belongings of the Magi. All right. Well, let's all... There he is. Hey, Whip. Hey, hey. Hi, Whip. Hey, Whip. Hi, Whip. Hi, Whip. I Hi, Whip. to uh, go see my grandson sing Barnyard songs. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's cool. <laughs> Whip, did you feel like you were being tracked by any chance? Say that one more time. <laughs> did you feel like you were being tracked by any chance? No, why? Was did I being tracked? <laughs> we think Ed has a GPS on you. <laughs> the tapper. Okay. Uh, uh, welcome, Whip. So uh, we just started out you found a secret door last time that you hadn't really explored, so you figured out how to, um, number one, avoid the trap. Number two, open the door. Came down a short hallway, found some sleeping quarters, and now Scotty just found a secret door in the south edge of this room. All right. <clears throat> I'm trying to find us here. Did we do a... Um... I don't, I don't think so. I'm, I want to do a uh, perception check on the door. Okay. Not bad. <clears throat> Not bad. 14. So it looks like most of the other doors that you've seen in this complex, it's a, it's a uh, stone door that opens in from where you're going. Okay. But you don't hear anything 
You don't detect anything. Is it unlocked? It is unlocked, yes. All right, I'm going in. Okay. Well, I, I am, uh, I think I got left behind. All of the pings. Oh, there you are. There you are. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> All of the pings. <laughs> Oh, Rose has left a trail for you, sir. With them. <laughs> <laughs> I made out breadcrumbs when you woke up. <laughs> so, did we steal anything in this room of beds? I took no. a blanket and pillows. Oh, geez. Blanket and pillows, yeah. Otherwise, there's really nothing of value. It comes in handy, I'm telling you. Somebody's going to be short a pillow there. Uh huh. When y'all get you saved didn't take it by my blanket. Bed. <laughs> when you don't um, freeze to death. That's right. <laughs> and you'll be cozy. All right, I'm going to stay behind for a minute at the door to the entrance of the sleeping quarters and listen to see if anything like alarms are set off or anyone comes in behind us. Ah, good. Good, good, good. Okay. So as you come through the secret door, you see a short passageway with a door at the southern end. People really like hallways. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go Wouldn't on. be a crow. I'm gonna go ahead and open the door and go in. Okay. So as you open the door, Ooh. you see yes. a comfortable looking bedroom that shows signs of re recent occupation. Looks chained like at the foot of the bed. There's this guy that I can't get to. Why can't I get to him? You say chained to the bed? Chained to the bed is a wolf. Huh? Hello. And as you open the door, the wolf crawls. So I'm going to see if I can maybe Calm the wolf. Okay, have they got any turkey in their pack? Ah. Nature, nature. Is what, beer cans? Huh? Why can't I move him? Oh, he's going to sit in the corner, I guess. Um, so, so he growls at you. Um, do, do you talk softly to him do you yeah. offer him food yeah, I'll put my hands out and do like you know easy there boy easy do the do the how to have the train your dragon <laughs> thing where you're just bringing your head close to <laughs> that, that's step two so, in the relationship i'm gonna start with step one <laughs> make sure i don't get bit <laughs> The guy from uh, Jurassic World tried that with a Velociraptor. It did not go well for him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's on the <laughs> um, so as, as you come in, Rose, and you, you talk to him, he seems to calm down a little bit. But he's still <laughs> he, he clearly looks like he's been trained as a guard dog, and he doesn't know you, so he's not ready to let you take over him just yet um unless you give me a try a nature roll or animal handling or speak with animals or you did not have speak with animals on this character yeah. 11. i don't have any food in my pack either what's up with that <laughs> i'm a furry, i'm a nature kind of guy let me check this i thought Could i had animal handling but i do not there we go <laughs> I'm the wolf right. whisperer. So do you put your head against his forehead? <laughs> I don't know about all that, but yeah. <laughs> so Scotty, other than the good roll, what what um do you have food in your pack or anything to entice him and let me check. Mellow him out. Didn't didn't somebody grab like some meat from one of the the previous beasts we defeated? Yes. I remember the lizards. Yep. Yeah, smart man. Yeah, Skipper was that Skipper? I Great. think <laughs> it's somebody. Somebody took like a chunk or whatever for food. Maybe yeah, we this, can take this, some of that. 
the storeroom where you guys were last session had um, a bunch of wine and some fairly recent food. So, yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's I also have... so Scotty, you can you can with that role, you can kind of befriend him. And he's yeah. like, oh, finally, someone's paying attention to me. And he kind of jumps up on the bed and sets his paws out and sets his head on his paws. He's real sweet and yeah. looks like he's happy about things now. Calm down. He's eating some wine to calm him down. Whatever food you gave him, he's just kind of nibbling on that. Great. Now, what are we going to do with him? <laughs> I'm going to adopt him. <clears throat> Can he be my companion? Uh, what are you? You're a fighter? Oh, you're <laughs> a wizard. Um, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's Scotty. If there's, if, I mean, if there's, I, I, I don't know wizards very well, honestly. So I don't think there's any, you know, specific kind of bond. But, you know, if you want to, spend some time with him and make an effort uh, entertain the option no it's okay <laughs> see he's gonna loop the room and then we'll leave <laughs> okay so you're in the room the bird is calm <laughs> down um you don't see any other exits or egresses out of this room it looks like uh probably the um head of the mag guy it's probably his sleeping chamber. There's a table. There's a buffet. There's a you know way bigger bed than the bunk beds that the standard guys get. So um, kind of feel like this is probably his main sleeping quarters. And nothing else going on in the room. Do I need to check anything? Uh, well, not that you immediately see. I mean the. It's, it's a bedroom with a wolf tied to the bed, and you call the wolf down, and that's where you're at. Well, I need to uh, investigate the room. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody who's looking around the room, trying not to irritate the uh, wolf, <laughs> uh, just give me a perception roll. Or it might investigation. Might be mildly irritating. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, a train. Wow, that's uh... Oh, no. <laughs> As Ocean Kind gets eaten by the wolf. <laughs> What's the train from? Sorry, that's my window. <laughs> no. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. You need to get J-Rock over there to do some train videos. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Scotty, this okay. is from the dog to you. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> um, that's okay. So, whip, yes, sir. Um, you drop down and look underneath the bed. And you see yeah, that there's something underneath the bed that looks like hey, a chest. There's something under the bed. Looks like a what? Chest. Chest. Ooh. It looks like a chest. Yeah. Whoa. Get it out. You, you want me to fish it out of there? Yeah. Get it out. Let's see what's in it. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not what happens. <laughs> hmm. I can't tell you how many times that's been asked of me. So you can pull the chest out, and um, it's locked. Ah, but I am a rogue now, and I have... Yeah. <laughs> that is the most disturbing one you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I can uh, I can do um, that so sleight of hand. 
Maybe. Mm-hmm. Actually, Maybe. don't know. That's usually like when it takes a lock. And then oh, I can, add, I can add one. I can add it. Oh, shit. What did, we do? what did I do? What did I do? Go rogue on it. Do it. <sighs> I don't know what I just did. <laughs> she closed the end of the I didn't see you do anything. Um, it Is says click on skills and then you hit custom skills and then I can change that to what is the um, thing called? Rogue uh, skill there? Dex? I would, use, I would just use sleight of hand. There's, there's something that you can use as a rogue. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Ed. <laughs> it's your character, dude. <laughs> it's Where did Ed go? He was, he, no, it's the whole thing. You know, you get a sleight of hand. You get a whole hand is opening locks. You get a whole kit. Lock pick you tools. Know, yeah, the thieves kit. That's thieves your thieves tool. tools. That allows you to use sleight of hand without a disadvantage. Cool. So we found an extra set for you. Because you do need thieves tools to be able to open this. And you have thieves tools. So sleight of hand is the role, I believe. Well, on my rogue, it just says thieves tools and I click on that. Slide of hand might be better. If just you yeah, I don't I don't know if clicking on thieves tools is going to give you anything to do. I think you need to roll slide of hand. Well fine. <laughs> I'll just say I'll it slide of hand. He's gonna roll like a 26 and this is all gonna uh -huh. be I hope so. <laughs> slide of hand. Away we go. Yeah, the guy was a good one. Oh no. Yeah. Uh oh. Maybe thieves tools give him advantage. <laughs> um, the, uh, yeah, give me another roll. I just lost my <laughs> roll of 22. I lost my map, so hang on, let me refresh. But yeah, give me another roll. That was thieves tool. There we go. There you go. Just popcorn delicious. I'm reloading, so I don't see it yet. But you need a 22. A oh, okay. So if you roll the 22, you're able to pop, pop the lock. And inside you find 2,500 silver pieces and 200 gold pieces. I know, I need to read that. Somebody write that wrong. down. Somebody needs to write that down. That's me. Our treasure. Right. <laughs> 2,500 silver pieces, 200 gold pieces. 2,500 silver? Yep. And how many gold? 200 gold. 200 gold. Got it. <clears throat> so we have a total of... 800 gold and 2,500 silver. Wow. We're rich. Yeah. And two, two things. Gold. So technically, we have close to 1,000 pieces of gold. Yeah, because you also have a couple of garnets, a gold chalice with emeralds. Uh, it's worth about 700 gold pieces there. Yeah, you've got a fair bit of treasure. Where are we yeah. I'm going to take my grappling hook and put it in the chest so when we lock it up, it still feels heavy. Oh, that's a good idea. Ah, okay. Good idea. Until they open it and realize <laughs> and I'm also oh, going to no. drop a dead bee in there. Just just uh, <laughs> please please do go cross that off your character sheet so we know it's been used. We will. All right. Okay. Uh, again, you don't see anything else in this room. 
the wolf is, you know, finishing up in his, his little meal and looking at you like asking for more. What do you want to do? Let's let's scoot on out. Yeah, I think we're done there. Scooting out. Excellent. Good job, Kayla, for guarding the door. <laughs> I felt safe the whole time I was in there. <laughs> so so true. Um so um again, I was gonna go back and look at the replay to see if you actually found what you need to find to move on here. <laughs> uh, but I did not have a chance to go back and do that. So um, we're just going to retcon it a little bit. If you recall, when you first got down to this level and you got to this revolving passageway, it was set north and south. And the first thing you did was you went north and you came to that T hallway that went down and there was room on the right and room on the left. Yeah, these guys right here. That one and that one. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what you're pinging. What? Yeah, I, I missed it. Sorry. How can you not know? <laughs> I think I was in too tight. I'm doing it right now. Right now. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. I see it now. I, I was yes. definitely in too tight. Yeah. So that those two rooms. Yes. Thank you. Um, and I can't remember if you actually found it or not. Uh, what I think well, we you did. We drew in the one, so we had to have been over there. <clears throat> yeah, I did that this <laughs> afternoon. Actually. Oh. Oh. There's a stairs um, going down in the blue room. Yeah, This. so this little blue triangle thing, let me find the room number. I'll read you the description. Hang on just a second. That ladder with the blue room, Ed, that goes up to the gladiator people. Oh, nice. Yes. The level above us. Although, that's their although shrine. You did, although you didn't, you haven't found yet how they get up and down, but it's definitely gladiator um, themed room. And it's right below where their other area is. Um, so this, this room in and of itself is an abandoned ceremonial, ceremonial chamber. Uh, looks like a ruined chapel. Appears to have been looted and deliberately wrecked. The stone altar has been smashed. And this is the one that had Zargon essentially uh, scrawled, spray painted on on uh, one wall in large letters. And Zargon, you might remember, is the mm, infernal, infernal being who they uncovered below and and there's a group of people that worship the sargon so this is actually a um a hinged door in this corner that once you put pressure on it it swings down into the next level so it's just like a, a hinged kind of like slope i guess did we did we encounter that before i can't remember we did we actually did yeah. I think you I think you did and I think we looked at it and I reminded everybody that as you go down deeper in the dungeons monsters typically get scarier and more deadly and so and I think we you bought it cuz now we that was yeah, literally we one of the What's that yeah. saying? We Yeah cuz I think that was like one of the first right. two rooms that you got to yeah. on this level and scared you away from it. But I do think you found it. Well, let's go. Huzzah. <laughs> okay. Um, is there anything else you want to do before you do that? Do you want to rest? How are you doing on hit points? How are you doing on spells? Oh, that looks like you're doing okay, at least when I'm looking on your character sheets. It looks like I'm good. I'm, good. I'm only my missing two hit points, hit points, so I'm okay. My hit points are seven. What's the harm? What's the harm in taking a rest? 
we could always, you know, go down to the next level fully refreshed. That's true. So long true. rest? No, let's just do a short rest. Short rest? Did, did we do a rest last time? I you know, did. I, I did not write down that you took a rest at the end, but you possibly could have. Um, well, then I'll just take my spell back and say we rested somewhere. Yeah, I, I think we can assume between those last two sessions. So it's been, you know, 20 or 30 minutes since you since you had a rest. So okay. as long as these spells are, you know, significantly down on hit points, I don't know why. Uh, why you'd wait. But if you want to wait, we can wait. Let's go. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Let the wizard, let the magic users rest. Because yeah. I'm fine, but if they are out of spells or getting low... I don't want to go into a higher level uh, of the dungeon, you know, without all our uh, abilities. I think yeah. we can do a short rest. You don't get spell slots back with short rest, do you? No. Or long. I, I only have one first level spell left. Yeah, I see that. So let's just do a long rest and then we can go in. Swords are blazing. Okay. Sounds good to me. Is this room okay to long rest in, y'all think? Sacred. I think so. I'm yeah, I think, it, it, I think you've got a fair level of confidence that you cleaned out any kind of like riffraff on this level. Okay. Um, and you have... Um, Humanoids to the right of you and humanoids to the left of you who you know can help who aren't going to attack you as far as you know uh, So far you're on a good track. So, yeah, it's fairly reasonable Is it me or did the screen go dark? Yeah, me too. Yeah, our map went blank uh, What's that? Our There's map went blank. The There's, it's, it's all dark okay, Hang on so, dude, did you blind us all? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> How about now? Okay, we're in a room. We are oh, in a room. No, no. I see in a Okay. Okay. Somebody threw up. Or somebody threw up. Must have been a long ride. <laughs> <laughs> Threw up the popcorn. So, easy. Okay, <laughs> I, have a, I have a shirt for that. It smells a little bit like puke because someone puked a little in here. <laughs> you uh, so you come down that ramp and into this forty by forty room. Um, so painted on the walls of this room are court scenes showing a king and queen who i think you've seen here and there you, you've seen the three gods but there were also a king and queen of the city uh, it's king alexander and queen zenobia um being entertained by a dwarven jester but mm -hmm. so these are painted on the walls it's the king and queen with this dwarven jester entertaining them and then in the middle of the room is a small coffin Oh, it's actually in a niche. A niche in the east wall is a small coffin, and in each corner of the room is a four-foot-high brass jar. A brass what? Four-foot-high brass jar. Mm. And a small coffin. And pictures of the king and queen with a dwarven jester. So me being a dwarf, I'm going to go up to the uh, mosaic and say, you know, the jester really is the most powerful person in the kingdom because they can make fun of the king and queen without losing their head. <laughs> what a joke. Uh-huh. The, the portrait has no response. <laughs> Thank God. But can if I it did, <laughs> it would smile because you're absolutely right. That's right. Can I go over to the little coffin and investigate? 
Does it look like it's got any filigree or writing on it? Uh, it's it's got um, um, little jugglers balls and, and and like a hat with bells at the top of it, like hmm. a jester might have those kinds okay. of things and you said a four foot jar yeah in Ooh. each in each corner there are four foot high brass jars anything in them have you looked yeah i don't Nine know dollars and four feet's gonna have to look i can't see not Paul. i got that would not be me <laughs> I'm going um, to stand on my shoulders and we can look at this one in the corner. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I guess I'm still too short. I, I can I can look it. There. I am big enough. I am tall enough to look in there if that is what we want to do. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go stand on Rose's shoulders and we'll we'll check the one in the uh, southwest in corner. The southwest corner. Okay. So... Uh, they're, they're kind of like urns, if you will, with little lids at the top. Um, as you get up there, you pull the lid off. Nothing happens. You look inside. You don't see anything in the southwest corner. It's dark in there. <laughs> it's dark. I mean, if you want to reach your hand down in there and see if there's something hidden in the bottom. Anybody got a light? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> drop a torch. I have a torch. I'll grab a torch and drop a torch down in there. I think so. So Kayla's just going to drop a torch in one. Going to physically drop it in there? Yeah. Well, that way we can I should, well I I'm little. My arms don't go that far down. <laughs> So you're lighting a torch and you're throwing it into that jar. Because we don't see anything in there, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. You don't yeah. see anything. So. Okay. Yeah, we're going to drop a torch in there. Okay. Come As on. you drop the torch in there, it disappears. Oh. The light goes out and you don't see anything. Do we hear anything like it hitting water or going out or just nothing? Nope. It's a teleportation nope. device. You hear it hit the bottom with a thud. It flickers for a second or two and then disappears. Oh. Hmm. So it did hit the bottom. Yep. Okay. Uh, Do they okay, I'm gonna... rotate? Uh, say again. Do they turn or rotate? How heavy are they? Yeah. Um, they're, they're poor foot. I mean, they've got to be. You know, it's like a. It's got to be like a. a, a <laughs> it's got to be like a seventy-five gallon fish tank, right? If it's <laughs> empty, empty, <laughs> not filled with water. But you know, they're they're you know a hundred pounds ish. Um, you can move them. You know, surely a dwarf could rotate them. them, jiggle them a little bit. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. But nothing happens. They don't no. seem like they're on a mechanism or anything. Okay. No, nothing happens. However, uh, as as you kind of mess around with this for a couple of minutes, you start to smell smoke. Uh oh. Is it from the torch? <laughs> like, is it coming Where's out? Where's the smoke coming from? from? Yeah, Kayla's drop. <laughs> uh, Kayla, give me an uh, investigation check, please. Hey, guys, something smells fishy, and it's not fish. <laughs> <laughs> Smoked fish. <laughs> so, Kayla, as, as you look around the room, uh, you, you notice... There's so again on the other side of the room is a small coffin with the engravings, and you notice that the bottom of the coffin is shooting out a little bit of smoke. Uh, guys, the coffin's 
smoking? <laughs> Gas to put us to sleep. I would say it's bad for his health, but too late. Uh, <laughs> ah. Um, Can we try to open the coffin? Bit? Should we try to open the coffin? I'll say that. Should we try to open? Is it, it coming from the bottom, like from underneath, or from under the lid? The DM um, said from the bottom of the coffin, not from the inside. Yeah, it looks like it looks like the bottom, but it it also you notice as you watch it a little bit, also seeping out maybe a little bit through the lid as well. Um, oh. Can I see that maybe? Like possibly it's movable, or are there any like marks on the floor? Anybody big want to try and push against it and see if it can move? Maybe there might be a secret passageway under here. Yeah, we can try. Whip your up. <laughs> so who's doing what? Well, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna roll perception and see if it gives me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you don't. It doesn't look like it's been moved, but you're not sure. I'm gonna try to open the lid. Is that a strength or what would you like? Um, athletic. Yeah, I, yeah. Give me a strength check. Rose, as you, as you go. Yeah. Wow, nice. So as you go up to the. <laughs> Uh, small coffin, Rose. You're like, okay, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. And you give it all your muster. You push off the lid and out jumps the head of a dwarven jester painted in bright colors. <laughs> and it freaks you out for like Dude. half a second. And then you realize it's like a jack in the box. Exactly. Oh. Right. It's like, like this. So it's the jester and and his little dwarven jester head pops up on a spring like a jack in the box. Um, very funny. Very funny. Does it look like there's a, a passageway down or is it just a solid? No, what, what, what as you look a little bit closer, Rose, with that with that roll, you find there's a false bottom and there's an empty uh, section below and the torch is in there <laughs> and you have the best clips because that's exactly what happens <laughs> a short is absolutely perfect i don't know where you find that stuff um, because what what you what you quickly uh, can surmise is that when you put the torch in that jar it magically teleported underneath the sarcophagus. <laughs> and you think it's probably just some weird kind of trick that the little dwarf jester had, you know, maybe his final performance or, you know, something where he has audience members drop something in and then it disappears and then he gives it back to him later or something. So it's just a, a Fun little diversion trap. You don't see anything else of value in the um, casket. It's really just that. I'd like, to, oh, what was I'd like to investigate it a little further, if that's possible. Just kind yeah, of give, really. Give me, yeah, give me another investigation roll. 16. So, see if I can find anything worthwhile. Yeah, you, do, you don't see anything. Um, and you don't really see anything other than what you've already seen. Yeah, it's it's the the remains of the dwarf jester are in uh, that that casket as well, but then it's got this um, jumping jack kind of trap weird thing, and the, and that space underneath. But that's really all you find in this room. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna reset it for the next person to also be scared by this trap. And cool. Put it back the way it was, and it's up to y'all. I don't know how to get out cool. of this room. <laughs> cool, cool. So there is a there's a door uh, to the north. How did we get in? I guess I should have asked that. Oh, this is so. This is you came. This is the the level four. 
You just came from level three. You went to that room. And I get that. There. but And it was a slanty floor thing. We went yep. down the slide. But how did yeah. it went down? Yeah, it's like a ramp that came down into this room. From the east, from the west, from the north, is it the ramp gone? Did it go back up to the ceiling? How did that work? Uh, the, so the ramp, you know. Are you <laughs> Your DM put you there, Whip. Quit asking oh, so many sorry. questions. You're <laughs> killing me. What the heck? Um, the DM. <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20, because it does reset, but I'll go look at when it resets. Because um, we might have to get out of here, and it'd be nice <laughs> to get out of here. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Oh, uh, um. Should, should I roll a perception for the door or investigate? Yeah, absolutely do that. Hey, can I just, uh, I'm going to uh, give Scotty a little real life um, uh, advice. If you ever take your Harley out, make sure you wear a helmet so that your hair doesn't get all tangled up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's specifically for for Scotty. For Scotty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you buying the Harley before or after the house? <laughs> I don't got to go that from anytime soon. <laughs> I got a '96 Step Boy that runs beautiful. Nice. Pretty bikes. <laughs> Our dungeon master went away. Our oh, poor man. dungeon master. He got tired of me talking. We're still <laughs> and I still don't know how we got in here. No, he's he's still here. Um, I rolled a fifteen. I had to pause. Um, oh, uh, at the door. Yep. Yep. Um, again, stone door. You don't hear anything. I'm going to slightly open it. <laughs> You basically got to roll a 30 on a 20-sided die to hear anything through a stone door. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to reveal this all pretty much. Yeah, but... As you come out, you see a long hallway. You see a passage right here, and eventually you'll see a passage down here. And I don't think, I mean, it's kind of hard to see on this map uh, where the doors are and aren't. So, yeah, both, both of what you see is a long passage. It goes north. There's no door right there. And if you go down further, there's no door here, just passages that go here or there. Well, I think we should go to, to that door or that passageway that's right there first. North. We can't see where you're pointing. Oh, okay. There you go. To the, I was trying to, to ping it. It wasn't working. <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> yeah, that Come one on. right there. <laughs> Come on, guys. Is that one thing in that one place? Right there. <laughs> Gotta go to see a guy about a place at this <laughs> thing. See the name about a horse? So it's as right you there. come, as you come around that corner, you see a passageway that goes up to a T, and there's also a door right here, right in front of you. But then the passage goes off to the east and west. I'm gonna do a perception check on the door. Okay. <laughs> Give me a perception roll. Oh. Ooh, nice. Bad, not bad at all. Uh, even with that roll, you don't hear anything. Of course not. You're mm -hmm. going in. <clears throat> okay, and as, as you get up here, I just revealed the rest of that hallway. You can see the hallway goes off a little bit to the west and quite a ways down to the east, and it looks like it turns north on the west-hand side this 
and it looks like it turns south on the east hand side. And then as you come in this room, hang on, hang on, find the room. What room is this? <laughs> a secret. Room. I don't know why I have a bad feeling about that room. Well, it's gonna be a great room. Well, what did you lead us up here for? <laughs> that is true. I wasn't the one who decided to go in. <laughs> he just pointed at it and said it was okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to go over. Wait, I want to go over here. Bring it on sword and stout over there. <laughs> you are on the fourth layer of the pyramid dungeon. Yeah, things could get really interesting down here. And it looks like they're about to. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. I'm going back out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going back out. I'm blocking the path. I, as no, no, you no. come in this room, well, let me let me read the description. <laughs> then you can decide what to do. They're probably friendly. Um, <laughs> famous last words. Yeah, a mummified human in plate armor, holding a hell halberd stands at attention against the west side of the south wall so west side of the south wall like somewhere down here is this dude in plate mail with a halberd he's a mummy um grouped around the mummy are nine skeletons also at attention, all holding long swords. And as you come in the room, I think we probably need to go roll yeah. some initiative. If I if I go first, I'm gonna spray them all with acid. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are, buddy. I like it. Let's hope you go first. Oh, I roll. So, really irritated by <laughs> a three. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm going. Uh, okay. <laughs> give me, give me just a minute here to get these guys rolled up. Me and Kalish are tied. Kalish, you go first. It depends who has the highest <laughs> dexterity. Let's see here. I could also yeah do there are that. some you know i i've done a lot of um i've watched a lot of youtube videos on other dm approaches who are really light rules who don't you know like if there's six of you in a room searching you're probably going to find whatever you're looking for so it cuts down on <laughs> rolls it makes it faster but oh now i need roll for all these guys too so the uh, the at least my level of prowess with this program is I can select each of the monsters and and add them to the turn order, but it doesn't automatically roll. So give me a couple of minutes to do this because it's going to be because I have to roll and then I have to go enter them all. So just can we we're not going anywhere. <laughs> do what you gotta do. I hope not. Hmm. That's awesome. While you're working your magic, I have a question for the others or whoever. When I because I've never been able to really use spells, can I use a first level spell and a cantrip? Yes. Long as the cantrip is almost almost always. Yeah. But you got action and bonus action. So as long as one's an action and one's a bonus action. Correct. Like you can't use two actions. Correct. And if you look in your character sheet, it should tell you which ones are which if you don't want to mess around trying to figure it out. It it basically tells you. It took me a while with my cleric to figure that out. So when it says attack, 
you should have a first level and then a, and a second or not first level but a um an attack and then a, a bonus action and then it'll tell you what you can do in your bonus action like my I, only bonus action is two weapon fighting that's mine too so you wouldn't be able to do <clears throat> well you could do two weapon well um that a spell And I got second wind, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> yeah, Scotty, looking at your sheet, all of your cantrips are actions, and all of your spells are actions, and your attacks are actions. So, so I can and I can only do one action, so I can only do one at a time. Yeah, right. Now your level two wizard. Mm, I think eventually you get more stuff, but I, again, I'm not real familiar with wizards. Okay. Wizards, so. But yeah, right now you get a spell or a cantrip. Okay. It says second win okay. on your turn, you can use your bonus action to regain hit points equal to 1d10 plus your fighter level, which would be two. That's pretty cool. It's nice. Okay. You walk in the room. There's a mummy to your left. Hi, mummy. And there are nine skeletons. And it says the skeletons are guarding him, protecting, but they are where they are. So um, here we go. Kalish, you're up. All right. What? I am going to target the mummy with fairy fire, which is a 20 foot radius. And oh, is that? That means 40 feet. I learned that yesterday. Yep. <laughs> so that should, here, let me see if I can. So, okay, let me see, because Jason knows how to do this. There we go. Um, oh, sorry. I run the cast. I was trying to cast the, so it does cast a 20 foot cube within a range uh any creature in the area the spell is cast is also outlined in light if it fails the dexterity saving throw um for the duration objects and affected creatures shed dim light any attack roll against an affected creature has an advantage if the attacker can see it yep yeah. so Come on. 20 foot cube. Yeah, 20 foot cube. So not 20 foot radius. So 10 foot radius. Hope I didn't. Oh, I just ruined everything. <laughs> uh oh. Wow, okay. I feel like we just teleported oh, somewhere. <laughs> Sing, zoom. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can do a cube. Did y'all ever watch that Doctor Who episode where it's like, are you my mummy? Oh, no. oh. Freak me out. The answer that I have. That's, it's a good episode. Chris Eccleson, the best Doctor Who ever. Just saying. Is that a TV show? Speaking, speaking of Doctor <gasps> Who. Yes, Johnny, okay. it's a TV show. <laughs> Thank you, Whip. Yeah, okay. being able to terrify me. So apparently, I I don't actually know how to do drawings, but um, it's it's four cubes, four squares. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna get you're gonna get all of the skeletons highlighted with fairy fire, which will give everybody advantage on all the rest of the attacks that come after this. I love it. Thank you, Kaylee. Nice. Right. Excellent. And then I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast Bardic Inspiration on Whip. Huzzah! Oh, go away. Well, thank you. And I'm done. Cool. <laughs> what does Bardic Inspiration give? Extra four? Uh, it's an extra 1d6. Six. Nice. To attack roll, saving throw. Uh, you know what, though? When I cleared everybody out, Oh, I, no, lost all the turn, I lost all the turn order. 
So I don't know. Who's who? I'm the well, three. <laughs> I know Sama was the, the second 18. Yeah. Are you able to write it in? Excellent. Yeah, I, I can. I can go back and adjust. Hang on, because i got to go add all these guys back in, too. Shoot. I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's all right. We learn together. Exactly right. In the chat, Select Pet says, Doctor Who, a medical drama mystery. Yeah. <laughs> even, even, even if you've never seen it before, Scotty, you should have at least heard of it. What's it called? Doctor Who. Doctor Who. It's a is it British or just English? It's a, British. British. Yeah. British. It came out of the uh, out of the British uh, television network, and it's uh, BBC. Super popular for about oh I don't know sixty years. I don't remember exactly how long, but it's a long time. <laughs> yeah, roughly roughly about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I was a little that. kid when uh, Not... I, the first time I saw it. I mean, it's still going. Like they're still making seasons of it. That's how popular it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, I don't have cable. Well, yeah, I'm it's, just saying you should have at least heard of it through Netflix. You know, going outside. It, you know, I don't have cable. So. Oh, no. <laughs> now he's a girl, so everybody's calling him. Are you my mommy? <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, Doctor um, Who is all of a sudden a girl. Yeah. So, can I have everybody re-roll? Initiative, sure. and then I can change back to what you had initially. Oh, that's a good idea. Sorry. I can tell you what they were if 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 you don't have access to that. For years, Doctor Who always wanted to be a ginger, and he ended up being a girl instead. <laughs> a girl named Ginger? That'd be close. Maybe. <laughs> no. I mean, isn't the wasn't there a movie with David Tennant coming back as the Doctor? Well, maybe he'll beat up the, the female one. Can there be two of them at one time? Aren't they the same person? <laughs> well, maybe there's like, you know, since doctors can be boys Timeline. or girls, maybe she's just the girl doctor. Who? From her female. dimension. From her timeline. Well, All right. So what coming back as a new actor. I don't know. I stopped watching Doctor Who after the final Doctor was supposed to happen. Yeah, I have not watched him since I was in my teens. So yeah, I think I watched a couple of the Christmas episodes like three or four years ago. They did a bunch of Christmas stuff that was kind of interesting. Those I've Doctor Hughes used to go to all the Comic Cons, and you would could get their autographs, but I would just look at them. Hmm. Oh. How much money those would be worth now? <laughs> right. So I see Rose and Whip back in in the turn order. I don't yeah, see any I was else. three originally. You were three. I rolled an eleven. Yeah, it, it, I don't remember what I rolled. I was. I was Kalish, eighteen. Kalish was fifteen. Chattanooga was nine. Usama yeah, can, was eighteen. Kalish was eighteen. Chat. I was 15. Am I going too fast? I'm probably going too fast. Tell, yeah, tell it'll, be easier if, it'll be easier if everybody can re-roll. Then I don't have to add you directly. I, well, I, I already did. John yeah, from Select. I did, I did, but I don't think I selected my character. Hang on. Yeah, I don't see it. That's what I did wrong. There you go. Kalish, 14. I'll do it again. How did I get hey, two John? in a row? Like two, two in a row. Could you talk? To Good. sideshow Cody about fish. Whoa. Okay. Like so we have Rose, Whiplash, Kalish, Quinn, Scotty, Granite, where are you? Come on. Here. Chat. Hit the uh Hit the right initiative. Here. You got to click yourself and then click your initiative. I did. I was 11. I did as well. No, you have to do it again so you're up there. I don't see it, but. Now I rolled a 
five. It doesn't matter. Like you're, and you're, you're going to get your own room. I can change you. That's no problem. Oh, I don't care. But it said that I, I rolled an 11 earlier when I did it the second time. Yeah, I gave you an 11. Rose is an 11. Um, oh, you're so gracious. Scotty, what were you originally? 16, I think. Okay, I'm going to put you back there. Because... That right whip. Um, let me look real quick. The is... first time, Kalish was... 16. Strength say, what is that? Investigation, so that's wrong one. Perception, nope. Perception, nope. Investigation, Cage was 15. Ed was a nine. Usama was an 18. I was a 15. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going with what we got now. All right. That's fine. Um, so Kalish did the first attack. She cast Fairy Fire. So all of the um, or skeletons, skeletons are all now glowing in a white light. Everybody has advantage on the attacks. But this guy right here is going to charge up and whip is right in front of him so he's going to try to attack whip you, he can't hit me i'm far too powerful <laughs> <laughs> and you're inspired uh yeah that's a miss pretty sure that's a miss i i don't see the roll so what, what um, was it is it oh that was a 10. definitely a miss Ten, and I need to be able to. Oh, now I see it. Um, okay, uh, so he missed. You know, let me just make sure that that's all he can do. That's all I can do. Because he ain't got skin. Short sword, <laughs> short bow. Oh. Uh, so whips does, does a 14 hit you no sir no okay so he misses and scotty you're up <laughs> <laughs> yes okay you got you got like nine guys up there that you could spray acid at i'm having second thoughts though do I want to? Do I want to do a special? You've been waiting so long. Yeah, you finally got the opportunity. They're lined up like ducks in a row. Yeah, anything <laughs> AOE right now would be great. So let me I see never get a better opportunity. Let me see which is more powerful here. Um. All right, bubble acid. All right. Pearl, a bubble of acid, um, or a magic missile. Mm. Just one, or do you get three? Um, uh, you, you, would, you would get three missiles. Three glowing darts of magical force. Each dart hits a creature of your choice that you can see within range. A dart deals 1d4 plus 1 force damage to its target the darts all strike simultaneously and you can direct them to hit one creature or several I think but, you'll, that. but you only get three missiles so you can only hit up to three yeah does your acid spray a lot of guys one or two creatures within range it's not an oh. area of effect like I thought it was I'm nuts now I I'm also nuts. have burning hands I think that you have to make physical matter. contact with that, though. You better be uh, careful what you touch. Uh, yeah, it's a 15-foot cone. Hmm. So yeah, that, that would probably be better. Where are you at, Scott? Burning hands is a cone, or is it a touch one? I thought it was a touch one, but it, maybe it's not. It's a... Um, um, 
it, it, it shoots them. Okay. Uh, as you hold your hands with thumbs touching and fingers spread, a thin sheet of flame shoots forth from your outstretched fingertips. Each creature in a 15-foot cone must make a dexterity saving throw or take 3d6 fire damage. Yeah. Ooh, that's yeah. Good. These things are all dried and might be flammable. This so, I so I'm gonna move up a hair. Yep. Thank you. To like right here. Now one yep. more. Right there. There you Whoa. go. Look at that. Fifteen. Yeah. So right? fifteen. So you'll be able to get. Most. At least four plus whatever this white guy is. The mummy guy. <coughs> mummy. You my mummy. Yeah, I think I think that um one. I think you're gonna be able to yeah, like that. I think you'll be able to get three, four, five, five of them. That would sound good. Five more. Five more. Nice. So, and this is a da, 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 dexterity. Da, da, da. Dexterity. You like that? Is this, Scotty? Da, 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 da. 12. So they only need 12s to beat it. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Makes it. Fail. Makes it. Yeah. Makes it. Makes it. So I did six. Two of them take full damage. Which, Scotty, if you can roll me the 3d6, if you haven't already. Oh, which you did. I think it did the 14. Oh, yeah. Actually, I see it. 14. So... That was awesome, Scotty. You're you're the man. I need to talk to Jason and Chris about a better way to track hit points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine. Screen keeps jumping. So, zero. Do you not have the power to uh, click on them like we do and, and bring up that weird configuration? Uh, yeah, I do, but it's almost easier just to do my old school way. Okay. Um, so seven, six, six, six. So they still take half, even if they say. I think so. Yep. Right? Yeah, that's awesome. That's a great spell, Scott. Okay, so yeah. this guy right here. Oh, let me see if I can mark him. He's dead. Ah, this guy right here. Ah. <laughs> He's Way dead. Go, ah, sucker. Nice. Uh, this guy is wounded. Ah, loser. <laughs> this guy is wounded. Loser. This guy's wounded, and this guy's wounded. Losers! <laughs> I, I don't want you to change anything, but I just have a question that may have altered this a little bit. Sure. Didn't you say they're all marked with dust? Oh, yeah. Disadvantage? Should, wouldn't that put them at disadvantage where they would roll twice? Uh, I think uh, rolling with advantage and rolling with disadvantage are different. They're different. It's yeah. I think I think it's advantage because they're lit up. They you, you have advantage to hit them, but I don't think it affects their saving throw. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. All right. That's see. I'm glad I, I asked because I, I, I didn't know that. I could I be wrong. I think Alexander rules, explained that to us one time. <laughs> some rules lawyer can correct me down in the comments or whatever. But it, but you know I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think that. anybody's coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am happy. <laughs> So okay. yeah, me too. That that's why I'm not I wasn't complaining. I just wanted 
No, no, it's, it's a good question. I'm good to ask. I think that's where we're yeah. so, Scott, so Scott doesn't say anything about disadvantage. It's only that you get advantage against it for the head. Yep. Yep. So Scotty dashes up, blasts his flame hand spell, uh, kills two of these guys, incapacitates a few more, or at least you know, handicaps them a little bit. Uh, with that whiplash, you're up. All right, I am going to, with a mighty bellow, bring my long swords down on this little turkey that tried to hurt me. <laughs> Get a whip! So, long sword number one. 14? 14 will hit. Woohoo! And. Nope, because nobody else is engaged. So just 11. Uh, 11 points? 11 slashing. Why is one handed higher than two handed? Just that is a good question. I don't, I've noticed that in the past. I don't get it. Hmm. It's just, it's just random rolls, I think. Huh. Honestly. Nice. Um, okay, so. Hang on, let me get rid of this guy. What guy? Get rid of this guy. The two that dad oh. are dead. No, oh, I thought you killed one. <laughs> I'm like, what, one blow? Come on. <laughs> uh, no, so so you did. I, I was just cleaning up for the next for the next turn order. Uh, so attack number one, you did eleven points. He is bloodied, but he's still up. All right, well, then I'm going to bring my other sword down on his noggin and hope that I hit him. What's a 21 looking like? Uh, 21 would be a hit. But even though it's a much more solid hit, it was only <laughs> six slashing damage that time. Yeah, but these are skeletons, so you cleave right through him. Nice. And he falls to the ground. I love how previous... Rolls were very bad, and today they're good. Right. <laughs> Are you talking about yesterday's rolls? Because did you watch any of yesterday's? Man, we could uh, not get above 10. Yesterday was brutal. Brutal, brutal. Uh, okay, whip anything else? Uh, that is all I can do. Okay. Because I ain't got wings. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this guy right here is going to charge up and attack Scotty. Oh, no, you didn't. Ducks. <laughs> no, he didn't. He really didn't. Uh, no, <laughs> he didn't. He did not. Definitely he not. Totally missed. Uh, and then this guy. Where's this guy? Who's that guy? Top left. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So he's going to come up here and attack Whip. Fool. With a 12. Uh, actually, it's 12 plus 4, so 16. 16 will hit. Why plus 4? Because uh, that's the stat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's plus 4. On but I'm just, I'm just rolling a straight 20, but their attacks are d20 plus 4. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's a hit then. Uh, and then it's a 1d6 plus 2 damage, so 3 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, take that! Did kill you. <laughs> Deadly. Well, at this level, it, it damn near does. Are you serious? No, I, I mean I only have twenty-one max hit points. So, oh, oh you're. Tis but a flesh wound. More than me. Uh, you rolled really <laughs> bad for hit points, dude. Tis but a flesh wound. Uh, <laughs> any, anything else, Whip? Uh, it was not me. Skeleton. Oh, 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 that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Anything Rose, else, up. skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's done with his turn. So, uh, Rose, you're up, please. Let's see. Ooh. Here or there. The ones with the red dots are the ones that are injured, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Right. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stand. If I stand a J, like at a diagonal, like I am now, does that still consider within five feet of my companion? Yeah. Okay, cool. 
So I'm going to use my long sword. Hmm. Use your what? My long, long sword. sword. <laughs> and I'm one handed because I'm carrying a shield. Okay. And, and I'm which sorry. One, which one are you hitting? The this one right here. Okay. For three points of damage. Yep. Okay. And that's. Do you have the Ed, uh, the Ed smash him with a shield trick, or is that just uh, something that clerics can do? That's a feat. That's a Anybody feat. can have it, but you have to use a feat to get it. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't have that feat. Uh, Anything I'm else? Up. I forgot I had Divine Smite, but I'll use it on my next turn. So that'll end my turn. Okay. Uh, go ahead and keep talking. I'm just going to shut the camera off. Ed, you're up. Okay. I am going to... Now, what's the red dots are alive, right? They're just burned? Um, yeah, they're yeah, just they're burned. Injured. Alive but hurt. They're smoking. I will sandwich myself between these guys. <laughs> and uh, I am going to get angry at the one that hit Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's. I found that video and I was like, "Ooh, that's going to be my guy." Um, <laughs> and I'm going to declare a double attack. And the first one, I'm going to do my divinity. Wait, yeah, my divinity attack that gives me plus ten to my hit. Okay. Or plus ten to my hit roll. So, with my flail. I do 20 then. I'm glad I added plus 10. Uh, which Ginger. one are you attacking? The one that's attacking Scotty. Next, Scotty, this guy. Yeah. A 10 misses. Uh. It would be a 20 because it's plus 10 more because I used my divinity to give a plus 10 to that. Mm -hmm. Oh, to hit. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Then does that back off the damage? Because I thought it was. I know there's it a I know plus there's ten a to attack rolls. Gain plus okay. ten bonus to rolls. Okay, so on that guy right right next to Scotty. Yep. You did eight points. Okay. So and is he I'm, still up? Oh uh, yes, he is. Then I will whack him again because that's where I'm doing one of my war priests extra attacks. Okay. For 17. Well, I rolled a 17. Okay. That guy is dead. Dead. Yeah. dead. Woohoo! Dead. <laughs> right. He's dead. We don't get out of here. So you have four. Let me. Okay. I always miss those little clips. Uh, so that's Ed. So now we have this this uh, skeleton who's right here. He is going to swing at Scotty. Okay. Before you do that, I can't. I have protection. Okay. Um, while wielding a shield, which I am, and a creature you can see attacks a target other than you within five feet, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Wow, nice. Oh. I'll protect you, Scotty. Nice use of a character skill that I have waited two sessions to do this. I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the one you were talking oh. about? Yeah, he's gonna roll a nat 20 twice. You wait and see. <laughs> so so the first roll was a 19. Yeah. Ugh. The second roll is a 13. Does the 13 hit Scotty? I think it does. Hold yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Just barely. You tried, Rose, you tried. Yeah, it's worth a shot. 
that was, you know, nicely played. I will say that. Uh, for all of uh, an effort. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, because there's a plus, plus something. I don't like yeah. the plus something. I like that one. <laughs> it's not very much. It's like uh, two. You know, oh. uh, 1d6 plus two. So three points of damage. Like a paper cut. <laughs> it's like a paper cut, dude. Really. All right, uh, and so that point. was that was that guy. This guy. Right there. And next up is going to be this guy right here who's going to attack Rose. Bring it on. Right. Oops, I'm sorry. Like, Nico turned that on. I didn't even realize it. By the way, <laughs> <she's>... <laughs> if, you, if, if you don't know, Rose is a dwarf paladin, so she's a little tough. 11 yep. plus 4 to 15. Uh, no, 18. It's the armor class. Okay. Uh, so that's his turn. Miss. Next up is... Oh, that was that guy. Hang on. So this is this guy up here. He's going to run down. He's also an attack rose. And these guys got a bone to pick with me. Uh, that's a twenty to hit. Ooh, that hits for six points of damage. Ouch! Finally, the skeletons get a break. Uh, and then this guy is going to run down and he's going to hit Ed or try to hit Ed. Uh, 14 to hit. Nope. Nope. Nice. I laugh in his face. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think this guy is left. Where do they all go? I can't remember. That guy went, that guy went, that guy went. Back. Oh, this guy didn't go. But he <laughs> Okay. Uh, so we are up to Quinn. Yeah, Quinn. All righty. Let's see here. I am going to go where to this one in front of. Actually, no, I'm going to go right over here. Try to finish this guy off. And I'm going to use. What am I going to use? I'm going to use my quarter staff. Okay. Give me two hit roll. Uh, 15 will definitely hit. Nice. Woo. And you can just click that red quarter staff thing that will roll damage, four damage. And which one were you hitting? The one right in front of me. The one mm -hmm. right in front of you for four points of damage. Uh, which one was that? Oh, that's that guy. Okay. That guy right in front of you drops. Nice. Yeah. He's dead. Nice yeah. job. So that's the end of round one. You've taken out five of the skeletons and damaged three more of them. You have one that's undamaged three damage. Top of the round. Kalish, you're up. All right. Um, I'm going to go for let's uh, Is my cam still off? Shit, sorry. <laughs> it's been off. I'm sorry. Wow. I was just going to show off my Celtics Larry Bird shirt. <laughs> um, okay, Kalish, what's up? Are, are these, like, animated, or do we think they're possibly intelligent? Uh, they're Would pretty, they be able to understand words? Yeah, pretty base level animated skeletons. No intelligence. Okay. In that case, I am going to hurl a dagger at the one that is to the right of Rose. Skyway out here? Yes. Okay. Uh, a 14 will hit. Four damage. Dagger sticks in his chest. He staggers a bit, but he does not fall down. 
So with two weapon fighting, I can use a second throw as a bonus action. Is that correct? Are you holding a second bow? I believe I have two daggers and a short sword. <laughs> nice. Actions, two weapon fighting. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'll let you do that. Okay. So I will throw my second one at it. And no. Yeah, that uh, misses. I believe that would be the end of my turn. Okay. I like how Kalish is just inside the door. So if it goes real wrong, she can just like shut it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Feels over his head. <laughs> All right. Scotty, you're up, my friend. Let's see here. What can I see if we do here? So one guy right in front of you who's injured. Yeah, I think this is a good time to use some acid. Oh, so yeah. I going to move over one spot or can I step on whoever that is, Rose? You can no. I move to the same? <laughs> you, can, you can move through the space that Rose is in, but you can't and That's fine. I'll go up here. In that space. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to splash uh, hurl a bubble of acid to the two enemies that are right here. Um... And yeah, because that won't hurt Rose. Because I would never want to do such a thing. Um, I was gonna say. <laughs> so I think it does. <laughs> no, it says choose one or two creatures you can see within range. If you choose two, they must be within five feet of each other. A okay. target must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. It doesn't say anything about it hurting anything within the area okay. okay yeah it's a it's a it's a 15 foot cone dude if you if you throw a 15 no. foot cone from there there's no way unless you only try to hit this guy this this one's not a cone this one's the acid splash yeah oh can you post okay, it in vtp scott splash on like your two characters. oh okay here we go okay go. yeah you can do that why not i did it Look, there it is. <laughs> Scotty, whatever you do, don't fight like a stormtrooper. Yeah, right, please. <laughs> right. Cue the clip. That's one of my favorite clips. The dancing stormtroopers. Uh, DC 12. Dexterity. So I need a dexterity 12 saving throw. Please stand by. That's a miss. And that's a miss. So damage that you did was six on those two guys that are already injured. Is that right, Scotty? You were hitting this guy. And, and the one right below me. Oh, and the one right below you? Yep, those two. Um, it's like just pulling the acid out of his vest and going, wow. <laughs> okay, uh, you kill this guy. Yeah, nice. And this guy is severely injured. Surprised nobody's gone for the guy behind me. I mean, he's been mm -hmm. neutral. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's the. I'm assuming that's the mummy. Oh, I thought the dude at the very top was the mummy. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it is. The description says that he's down on the southwest wall, but I, I'm uh, assuming because I, I can't move him, and he's, he's part of the part of the terrain. So yeah, he looks good there. Uh, yeah. So you have this is the best I could do for an acid three thing. As soon as it loads. Sorry. So you have three skeletons left, two of which are pretty severely damaged. Oh. <laughs> <That's the acid. laughs> when I typed in acid, that's what came up. Is that Jody, is that Jody, is that Jody Foster? <laughs> Was she on acid? <laughs> <laughs> 
Jody Foster on acid and rape. I like it. Yeah. Uh, the guy behind okay. her is like, what is going on with this girl? Uh, so, I thought there was a stormtrooper in the back. She's enjoying herself a little too much. Okay, I'm deleting that one. <laughs> Okay. I just thought it was funny. That was my acid. <laughs> it's funny that that's what they gave you on the search. Uh, so, uh, Whip, you are up. There are three more skeletons, uh, two of which have been damaged. The other one I don't think has been damaged yet. What are you going to do? The one in front of you, closest to you, Whips, I don't think has been damaged. He has not. He rushed down, swung, and might have hit me i think he hit me for a damage of three to me so i am yeah. going to return the favor with a cry of rage mm -hmm. i will smite him with my mighty smiter <laughs> but he's uh, i get two rolls right because i have advantage yes 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 you do good point Ah, oh, the second one was much better. Oh, yeah. So that's a damage at 12. Is he, is he still standing? Because I got a sneak attack for his ass, too. Uh, he is still standing, but he is very, very, very rough at this point. So give me your sneak attack to end him. Sneak attack is a 1d6. That's this guy like, right here. Yeah, to touch me. With an additional three from my sneak attack. And that crushes him. Oh, nice. All right. So with my second move, I am going to rush up to this guy over here and smite him with my other mighty smiter. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that we've guy. Got, we've got three damage. He decided to destroy all of them. I, I hit a, a natural 20, so a <coughs> slashy damage of 11 plus four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a celebration. Put, play it again, Ed. There you go. We're throwing it back. <laughs> It's exactly. It's exactly. <laughs> so, Whip, you you charge up. You bring your long sword down through the base of the skeleton's neck, and you cleave through its entire torso with that blow. Absolutely decimate it. There's one guy left over here, um, and Rose is standing right next to him, and you're up, Rose. Like I have so much performance anxiety right now. Like I don't even know how to roll. <laughs> Rose, like, I'm gonna roll. roll. It's gonna be a. I minute. actually think you deleted the wrong dude, but that's okay. One's one and one's yeah. the other. Oh, well, here we can do that. Do that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know. I'm good. <laughs> I can hit a skeleton. <laughs> Twenty-three for seven points of damage. Yes. It's like yeah. what the voice in Mortal Kombat says. Finish him. Finish him. The skeleton <laughs> falls down at your feet in a pile of bones. Combat is over. You have won the Battle of the Skeletons. Who wants to be next? <laughs> well, that was a nice warm up. Can um, I go poke the mummy? And immediately, Rose is over there checking out the money. Oh, Rose, keep your hands to yourself, please. It's too late. <laughs> is it like a real mummy? Oh, yep. Okay. Mummified body is one of the guards of the uh, guard captains from the reign of King Alexander. Oh. Uh, it is not undead. Its armor and weapons are functional, um, but not magical. What kind of armor and weapons? It is plate mail and a greatsword. A greatsword? 
and all of the nine skeletons had long swords. Also not magical. Do I need one of them? You tell me. I think I well, have or had a great axe. I might have dumped it. I don't have the planks. We're going to be robbing some people here. <laughs> well, I can't do the great sword. It's two-handed. That's why I, I have a great axe, oh. but I, I don't I don't wield it because it's just one attack. Right. 2d6. Yeah, and it's, it's they're big and bulky, and if you're a finesse attacker, you probably don't need it. Um, otherwise, I mean, you can search the room. You can do... Uh, Perception checks and whatever, but there's really nothing else in this room. So small creatures have disadvantage when using this heavy weapon. When using what? When using the heavy weapon, like a great sword. Ah, yeah, like like halflings and dwarves and gnomes, I guess. This, that's my great axe. You can kind of check right. just to see it. I can anybody blue. wear the plate mail? I cannot wear it. I would lose all my dexterity advantages. I can wear it. If anyone, um, if the, I mean, if a tank can wear it, the tank can go for it. No, you go uh, ahead. I'm good. I'm going to grab a great axe <laughs> and a great sword. I don't you think didn't have a, a great axe. Yeah, it's just the great sword. Yeah, just a, it's just a great sword here, and the and the plate mail, which Ed would be an upgrade for you on your ring mail. Mummy had a great ass though. <laughs> Ed, don't talk about my mummy that way. <laughs> oh, Are there any daggers floating around? Well, oh, oh, a long sword. Right? That's what I meant. A long sword. Just the two that you threw. Okay, Kalish. Okay. No, they're daggers. There's, like I say, there's the plate, and there's the great sword, and uh, long swords, um, nine long swords that the uh, skeletons had. Did you say I got a great axe or a great sword? Great sword. sword. I have the great axe. I, I just don't ever use it. It's really good uh, though. One d twelve. Of course, I guess that's kind of same. How do I delete good. something? Delete. There it is. All right, so I stole a great sword and a long sword. No, you stole a long sword and a great sword. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with me. I'm confused like that. You'll get it eventually. <laughs> exactly. Oh man, I love you guys. That's great. Uh, uh, can anybody wear ring mail? Because I have a suit of ring mail that I could give someone. What is ring mail? I have chain mail on right now. It's basically like the worm? same thing. Same thing. Okay. It's I'm a new fortune. Yeah, and it might it might be considered heavy. I'm not I'm not actually sure. It was the best I could afford at the time. Hmm. Well, now you have a nice suit of plate. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. My AC <laughs> just went up four AC from that. Wow. wow. Nice. Wow. That's actually a pretty big move. So you're you twenty to, now. Yeah, you have to have at least a 15 strength to wear plate mail. Wow. Nice. I didn't know that. Wow. I have 19. I could wear it. I would just lose it, all of my advantages. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, your character's not really set up for it. I mean, I, I am a warrior I, or a fighter, I, but because I switched also to rogue, it's it limits me. Yeah. If somebody would like to wear my ring, I've got it. If we have like a normal warrior, otherwise I'll just put it in a backpack. And yeah, if, if if nobody else needs it here, you can hold on to it. Maybe you know one of the other factions would be you know willing to trade some food right. and water for some of that stuff because because you guys did find food and water last time, and you're probably I think we said okay for like five or six days or something, but. You know, you're still in a pyramid in the middle of the desert, and food and water are going to be a continued source of uh, scoring. So, so trade goods uh, potentially very helpful. 
So yes, you were right, uh, Xanadu. Chain mail is medium, and uh, ring mail is heavy. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, sorry. Daniels in the chat says Scotty has a long sword. D and D has become interesting. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> oh, Daniel well, is well, a great Bobby sword. Daniel is ended. Did. Can I do that? Huh? How do I know which is better? Uh, there we go. If you look at. If you add them to your character sheet, you look at the uh, stats on them and and decide which is going to be your go-to thing. Can we search for like secret doors in there? Like the, the, the oh, yeah. axe probably does lots more damage, but you're probably only going to get one attack per round. Oh, and by so the way, I just say is scroll. Better, right? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Me neither. I said school. It's, it's a song. It's, a, it's a football reference. You're He's a Viking people. fan. He's a Midwestern guy. We like the Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> and so we say school. It's just was what it is. Um, to who? I didn't, okay. I didn't see you. You rolled a, a 15 searching for hidden That's doors. Really good perception. Uh, 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 okay. You're um, not a rogue in this, sorry. No, but clerics are good at searching for stuff because yeah. of their wisdom. So you you look around the room, um, you see this mummy with the plate mail that you take, the great sword that you take, um, the the um, skeletons had long swords. Scotty takes a long sword. They're not magical. They're not anything special. You could take them all. And hawk them back, you know, somewhere yep, else. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Take trade goods. I feel really cool with plate me on. Yeah, plate is when you go from a 16 to a 20 armor class. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty big bump. <laughs> it's not a small bump. Um, Okay, it is now 8 o'clock. So we've been going for a couple of hours. I'm happy to keep going if you want to, or we can cut it here. I'm good for one more hour. hour. Yeah, I'm okay. good for another hour. Cool. Can we take a five-minute potty break? Yes. Sure. I don't have to go potty, but we can take a break. Well, <laughs> I'm going to get some coffee, ice. Coffee, water, uh we all go potty or nobody goes potty? <laughs> oh, I'm bringing down the rule book, man. Oh, yes. this is, Killer Kitty, this is why we don't let you DM. <laughs> That's why she's the big boss over at Lowe's. I absolutely love that. I like John's question, Ed. Oh. Oh yeah. Lord, no! Uh, we really don't need that one. Like Craig, don't don't tempt them, <laughs> please. It's coming, yeah. you know it is. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, where'd my phone go? Let, let it. Let us. Let us not disappoint the YouTube gods. Here, we'll go. We'll show PSAs until uh, they're done yeah. peeing. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay, be back in. <laughs> Poor guy he didn't went. get to say what he was going to say. I've seen that happen in real life. With a warthog? No, a hippo. Oh. Oh, I saw it at the St. Louis Zoo. Yeah. Is that where you saw it? 
No, I saw it at my aquarium. Oh, bummer. Your aquarium has hippos? Two of them. That's awesome. I, someday I got to go to your aquarium. It'd be so cool. It's Usama's too. Oh, I know. That's that's even cooler. Do they allow people to videotape? Maybe I can make a short or a uh, video. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Let's see if I can do this uh, potty break one. Oh, I got to delete something to get it in. Oh. I can only have up to 100 megabytes. I think I'm going to do this water one. The, say goodbye to this one, guys. Yeah. Goodbye, even though it's a pee break. That would have been a good pee break one. That is a good pee break. <laughs> But this is a better pee break one. There yeah. we go. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I gotta get ice. <laughs> that kind of looks like a goblin. Hmm. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> dig it, dig it, dig it. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Did Scotty leave? Uh, I don't know. Do we need there? a roll call? Who's here? Who's not? Well, I think everybody left. What? Well, they got to pee. They got to pee. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Oh, hey, Scotty. Yeah. Here. Do you guys give a discount to people that have season passes to other aquariums? That's a Usama question. He's in that department. But, hey, okay. you, you won't have to pay. Oh, that'd be awesomer. Ed, you're a VIP. I wish my uh, aquarium would treat me that way. Right? <laughs> I know a the guy. Season... With a, I know a guy with a poop ton of uh, comp tickets. Oh, and that's if, awesome! And if that person runs out, Usama can too. I have. I can always take one free person into my aquarium because I've got the the singles package. And I think they try to get people to buy it so they can go on a lot of dates with girls. <laughs> yeah, why not? Because it's like I get one free guest. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I think I've taken a couple different YouTubers there. I took John and his wife, uh, the Texas uh, Fish Room. To the hmm. Tennessee Aquarium. It's got to be. I think I showed. I've, I take all my relatives and all my friends from St. Louis. So it's kind of hard to remember what friends are fish friends and what friends are old friends from the past. But I, that was one of my favorite things about moving to Chattanooga is they had an aquarium. Nice. It's ginormous too. <laughs> oh, you went to it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went oh, over awesome. on a, a long weekend years ago. Neat. 
Yeah, I've never well, been. They messed up my favorite wing. The native fish wing. Mm -hmm. It used to have like 40 tanks of native fish, and now it has like three. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, it really pisses me off. They made like one great big one. They have a lot of native small fish in it. And then they have a sturgeon petting area where you can t pet sturgeon. And mm -hmm. it's like so stupid, man. I wanted, I like seeing all those native fish. Yeah, that wasn't there when we went. <laughs> yeah, and I do like the sturgeon petting area idea, but yeah, it'd be cool. Like, like even at the little small county fairs, my dad used to work for DNR Fisheries, Department of Natural Resources Fisheries, and so they'd have displays of all the local county fairs with, you know, like bluegill and crappie and walleye and northern pike and all the native fish that they'd capture and bring in for I that and they turn them loose. And, yeah, it's pretty sad got... that they don't have you know, more selection. Well, what? they have the big, they have like the crop, they have all the big ones, but it was the the row that had all the small fish, you know, everything smaller than a, a bluegill. Uh, like darters and... Got rid of. Yep. Yeah, nobody, nobody cares about that anyway. <laughs> Stop. It's, it's big <laughs> fish or nothing. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. It's a baby. But, and then when... When I first got to Tennessee, or before I moved to Tennessee, they had a whole underground area that was all seahorses. Oh, that's cool. And they had like probably 30 or 40 different tanks of seahorses, different types of seahorses. And they turned that into a banquet hall that you can rent, like if you get married or something, to have dinners and stuff. And But they didn't, huh. they just got rid of all the seahorses. And it's like, gosh. <laughs> I learned something really sad, and I think it's like seahorses only live like three years or something. It's like really oh. short. I know, because I like really want them. I heard seahorses get really forever. <laughs> yeah, they would be really cool. Father I Fish does a couple of videos with seahorses, like freshwater sea fishes, I think, or seahorses. That's why I, I, I would love to get a octopus. But they live oh, a maximum God. of one or two years. Yeah. So the thing with um, any cephalopods um, in human care, so public aquariums, what they'll do is they'll lower the temperature to as low as they can, as they are comfortable with, and that decreases their metabolism. So they can actually live hmm. longer than what they would in the wild. Oh, that's nice. Wow. And also, a lot of there's been a lot of advancements in culturing cephalopods. So a lot of uh, um, public aquariums, um, they don't really need to collect from the wild. They can just mostly with cuttlefish, they can just culture them and then share them within the public aquarium communities. Huh? Yeah. Very very very, very very cool. What what do they got them up to then? Pardon? Like, what do they got them up to years wise? <laughs> They've got them up extended to like two? roughly, yeah. I mean, Monterey Bay Aquarium, they have on their YouTube channel, there's a video where they talk about how they culture um, flamboyant cuttlefish, and they talk about how they um, they reduce the temperature to prolong their lifespan a little bit, too. It depends on the species. Some live for up to four years, maybe. Maybe a little, wow. uh, you know, roughly. But, yeah. It, seem, it still seems so short for something so smart. You know, those things are yeah. Yeah. damn near as smart as we are, and they have such a short lifespan. Yeah. Well, not, or they'd be making computers. <laughs> I'm telling you, they are. They, you give them a time, they might be. AI. And you guys are talking seahorses. I've kept um, native seahorses that we have here in North Jersey, or not in North Jersey, but in Jersey. It's called the Northern Line Seahorse. And I've collected them from our estuaries, and I've kept them for a while, actually, like almost a year, two years. Wow. And so we you're actually, in New Jersey? Yep, I'm in South Jersey. Very cool. Very but, um, have, you, have you seen the dragon? The dragon. Have I seen um, a, a what? The, their dragon um, 
Horses? Sea horses. Sea dragons. Sea dragons. Sea dragons. Yeah. Oh, sea dragons. No, they're more of your tropical. They're found more in the Pacific what? air regions. Not they the have them at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. I've yeah. seen them. They, they are beautiful they, exhibit there. Um, Monterey Bay has them, and then I think Shed has them. Either Shed or the New England Aquarium, they have them. Hmm. We used to have them at the Tennessee, but that was one of the, when they got rid of that area, we lost them. Hmm. And Seahorse oh. Savvy, I remember Seahorse Savvy got a few specimens from Australia. Yeah, and, they come out of Australia, um, which is tough to get them from. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I think we still have them. They they kept them. They just put them in the salt waters. Our aquarium is two different buildings, and they have salt on one side and fresh on the other. And I think they just put them in one of the salt water areas. I mean, they are salt water, so. Yep. <laughs> but it's... Yeah, but the seahorse were in the live because it, I think it's the bigger of the two. I don't know, but we're supposed to be the biggest freshwater aquarium in uh it used to be in the world but it might just be in the united states now the aquarium me and scotty work at we have the largest collection of sharks in the northeast oh wow we're one of three aquariums that has a great hammerhead in exhibit hmm. and then wow. we're the only aquarium to have hippos on exhibit usually you'd find mm -hmm. hippos in zoos but we have two hippos i love hippos wow that's very cool yep it is. And they came from Disney. Sorry. Oh, huh. magic hippos. <laughs> no kidding. That's crazy. <laughs> magic hippos. Yep. They were a lot smaller at the time. They were. <laughs> have you All ever right, been to Rutherford, next? New Jersey? Have I ever been to where? Rutherford, New Jersey. I almost opened a photo studio there. Oh. Hmm. Ooh. Yep. I know of Luckily, Rutherford. I, I've never been, though. I avoided getting married and didn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> that was way back in my 20s. Oh, God. There's a story there, but we're not going to go there right now. <laughs> because we're all back from our potty break. You just beat some skeletons. We talked about fish. Right. Um, but back to D&D, &D, you're in this room. You just beat these skeletons. You explored the room. There's nothing else there. Um, what are you going to do? There's a passage. The door comes out. The passage goes to the east and to the west and then to the north, both sides. And I revealed some of that so you can kind of see where, you know, if you if you walk down the hallway and kind of peer around the corners, you can kind of get a sense or, okay, this hallway goes straight down and goes to the north and then down and then there's other passages to the west. So, um, um, I, uh, I, I forget, did we investigate this room already and we found nothing? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. This, this, this room right here? The room we were fighting the uh, skeletons in. Yeah, you you investigated that, and there was really nothing other than the plate meal, the great sword. Oh yeah, yeah, ah, it's coming back to me now. Yep, yep. I was I was so, gonna say let's eeny meeny miny mo, but I guess we've already decided which way we're going. We all mowed. That looks looks <laughs> like you're going this way. Okay. All right, Johnny, <laughs> he's in the this room. Is a he's really big head. Okay. So you come out of that room, you go a little bit to the west, and you go a little bit to the north, and then you see another long passage that goes to the west with a door down at the end of it. I'm going to do a perception check. On okay, the board. give me a perception check. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, real good, Scotty. <laughs> why don't you try that one? And as he, so, so not surprisingly, um, like most of the dungeon, it's a stone door. You don't hear anything. It opens inward. It's not locked. And make it crack the door open carefully and quietly. 
and see what I see. Rogally. I don't know if that requires a stealth, but uh, I rolled a stealth just in case. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Wow. Okay. Let's see what you see. As you crack open the door. Uh oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, lady. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, so this room has signs of warfare painted on the walls. It also has a large wooden sarcophagus, which I need to get my right. And two open. white Mars, apparently. Here's a big sarcophagus and um, painted on the outside of the sarcophagus is a picture of a warrior in armor squatting on each side of the sarcophagus is a large white ape there are two of them and i think that's time to are they from mars i know this show we cut their tails off and they become humans again i don't know what you're talking about but they can i don't me know that show um I show, but you can certainly try it. Um, so with that, I think we're gonna. Ask everybody for initiative rolls. Make sure you oh, click okay, the initiative character. <gasps> they don't see us right now, though, right? Because whip. Slightly open the door, or did they hear us? Um, good question. I mean, it was a 25. I'm just he was saying. a stealthy man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're they're kind of sitting there like monkeys do and like picking mites out of their hair and whatever they do, they don't seem to notice you. Uh, but we are going to add them to the screen. Add him to this turn. Ha, Killer Kitty was making popcorn during the potty break. <laughs> the question oh. is, is it actually popcorn? Is it what? Top secret. Act two. I don't know what that is. Act two is a type of popcorn that was made to resemble movie popcorn. I believe. Wow. Let me oh. go look at my wrapper. And the extra butter is It's buttery topping, not butter. Boy, my what? manager used to yell at us at, about that all the time at the movie theater. Don't say butter, it's buttery topping. So it's not mm -hmm. as butter? Mine is pop secret. It's like hot oil. Yes. Scotty, Ed, Kalish, Rose, Whip, Quinn. Hmm. Okay, I got Scotty, Ed, Kalish, Rose, Whip, Quinn. Thanks, everybody. I got the two guys. Uh, looks like Scotty, too oh, hotty, like and 14 Whoa. goes first. <laughs> biggity, biggity. Oh, Scotty, finish him off. Lead us into there. battle, good sir. <laughs> so again, you walk in this room, uh, there's a sarcophagus, and there are two giant white apes. <clears throat> you may scratch your head a little bit and wonder why there are giant white apes in the middle of the pyramid. Don't ask me why. I don't know, but here they are. And as you come in uh, and approach there, they kind of raise up and start beating their chests and screaming a little bit, but you get the first chance to attack, Scotty. So, hit it up. Okay. We are going to do magic <laughs> missile. Ah, very nice. Oh, wait. I did it wrong. Oh, I really did it wrong. What did I <laughs> <laughs> What in the world happened? Oh, it did work. Well, it didn't work, but, you know. 
You rolled two of them. You need another. You get three missiles, right? Yeah, you get three of them. Oh, good. Let me do it again. Maybe it'll be better. <laughs> Hold on. It's over here. Where is it? Uh, ah. But I, I think... Oh, they're all great. So was that damage, or are you rolling attack? Those were attacks. I didn't do damage. Oh, I thought they were okay. damage. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Force damage, force damage, force damage. Um, hmm. I don't think you roll for a hit on these, do you? I could be wrong. Yeah, I think yeah, if you I, I think you do. Do you? I remember I remember Kenny rolling to see if he hit him when he when he does this. Oh okay. Yeah, I think I think you need to do an attack roll, I think. So if you go if you go to your character sheet, go to magic missile and then go to cast and then hit the, the big B red B button. Try that and see if that makes a difference. So does he roll one for all three of them or does he roll three separate hits? Yeah, uh, three separate hits. So what's that one? That's a miss. Two. No, he's still rolling. Three. Yeah, it looks like he's still rolling damage. Yeah. He's still rolling a D4. Or D6, really. Hmm. I need to do a 1D4 plus 1. Uh, well, well, what you need oh, to wait, do is you, one, you need no. to do a 1D20. To hit first, I think. Well, I'll just do it over here then. Yeah, you just do it in the wherever. The roll, roll 20. There you go. Okay, good, 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 good. Do give me two more of those, please. My pleasure. And what are we? Giant apes, giant apes. I know what that hits. What did I put in there? Oh, I'm saying on. that magic missiles are auto hits. Unless they're back here. Yeah. Oh, I thought I had them open, but I don't have them open. Sorry. Hang on just a second. I'm Melvin. I know what these guys are. Hey, Melvin. And Mike, my Welcome. favorite Tic Tac Walrus. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so, Scotty, you hit a uh, 16 or uh, 18 and 14. Those will both and hit. Two fourteens. Are you targeting well, the same? Are you targeting um, the same one? No, it can do two. It can do um. Where'd it go? Hold on. I can actually Watch do me. three. So the question is: Do you do you shoot all three at the same one, or do you divide them up? They're one d four plus one. Oh. Uh, no, let's do two. Let's do both of them. So one, one, two gets, one gets two. Yeah. Plus nine. Oh, holy shit, you guys. Sorry for the drop, but these guys are... Going to kill us? Okay, get the move. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to kill you. They're like hey, wait, they're like go ahead and shut that door and let's just keep going. Young, the they're, oh, shoot, you better be scared. They're young versions of King Kong. And they have <laughs> let's just leave Scotty in there for them to play with. <laughs> <laughs> shut the door and leave him in there. <laughs> when they get done and fall asleep, we'll try to revive him. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. Wow. Yeah. Um Okay. 
Let's try. <laughs> okay. This will be your first TPK. With, uh, uh, my what? Yeah. Like each one of these have more hit points than everything else you've bought up till now, almost. On D and D uh, Beyond, it says magic missile is a unique spell. Since it's an extremely small number, there is no saving throw or attack roll tied to it. Ah. So I think it's an insta hit for all three. Okay. Nice job. So thing. it looks like five points, five points, and five points is, is what I see. Um, cool. Right? Wow. Minus 15. So minus 15 hit points, that makes it fun. So they're like almost dead, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, Did we piss it off? Uh, Maybe they're starving. You know how like bees can kill somebody? That's probably what it's like. Uh. Killer bees. Yeah, guys. except except instead of bees, these are the size of Bigfoots. Well, that and, we would be the bee. <laughs> and I don't know. At least the picture I found has like four arms. And <clears throat> yeah, they're. I'm surprised Ed hasn't found one yet. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I wasn't so even looking. Scotty, Scotty does 15 points of damage um, on one of them. If you want to divide it up between two of them, you can, but it doesn't matter because you guys are screwed. <laughs> uh, but that's so, Scotty, that's your turn. You throw the magic missiles. Anything else that you're going to do? I can't. Okay. Uh, Wait, can I retreat a little bit? You could. Yes. What if you move to get in there? Uh, I you don't think it was close try. enough to get. I don't think he was close enough to to uh, suffer an opportunity attack. At least I'm going to give him the benefit of the judgment that way, because otherwise he'll die. So you already moved 25 feet. What's your walk speed? It is. Oh, it's 25 for a door. Oh. I think. Um, I'm looking. It's up above your armor class on D D Beyond. I mean you wouldn't have to move quite that 25 feet. Yeah. You couldn't you wouldn't have had to move quite that far forward to cast a magic missile. Magic missile is a uh, ranged um 120 feet. So you could have kind of stayed where you're at, really. All right, I'll stay. Oh, where I was. Well, I'll go hey, back Scotty, I'm, not, I'm not trying to save your life, dude, but I'm you trying, trying to save his life. You're 100% <laughs> are. <laughs> You're too nice for this. <laughs> I'm trying to save your life. Um, okay, so you stand where you're at. You cast Magic Missile. You hit all three on, I'm going to say you hit all three on this guy. So he takes 15 points of damage. It doesn't phase him in the least bit at all, um, except to make him mad. Ed, you're up. Okay, I'm going to pull Scotty back and shut the door. Action bonus action. <laughs> that may be the smartest thing I've seen Thanks. anybody do in this game. Let's go the other way. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> hey, can somebody uh, lock this thing? Yeah. Yeah, you think that, you know, they're kind of, um, you, you know, at, at your first, like, like, little quick glimpse into this room, it seems like they've made this their little habitat and shelter. <laughs> and so you don't, it, they look pretty comfortable. Like they've got a couple of bedding nests areas. Um you hope that they're not going to try to pursue you, but you can go out into the hallway and shut the door behind you and run away for sure. 
Let's just do that, guys. I mean, I know everybody had their heart set on killing monkeys. Yep. But, yeah. This was I'm the best video. I, when I typed in killer monkey, this is what I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Run, Run away. Run away. Ed, you need to replay it again because I was on the wrong screen again. Oh, you so cute. Just a side note. Um, Looks like my brother's old girlfriend. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just a side note because we were talking about the um, the Weedy oh, Sea oh. Dragons. I don't know how accurate this is or if it's legit or not, but I found a online retailer that is supposedly selling them for about 3500 bucks a piece. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Did not expect that. Yeah. Good and luck. what were those? Which ones were those? The Weedy Sea Dragons, the ones that are found in Australia only. Oh, They're yeah, in average for saltwater fish, though, isn't it? No, not that expensive. <laughs> no. Um, as we walk back out, I'm going to mark that corridor as dangerous so that we don't accidentally yeah. wander back that way again. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a, a little kibitzing, but each one of those apes have well over 100 hit points each yeah well what? over 100 hit points each how does this module work do you kill so many things well, to level up or do you level by achievement um i'm i don't if we kill, if we kill one we might get a couple individual, levels okay. everything 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 um you know hit, hit points monsters killed treasure collected it's milestone um, oh okay and, and, and if yeah we lock the door if we lock them in that door and they kill each other do we get the experience <laughs> <laughs> well you ed you are a cleric so you don't really know Whip is a fighter. He doesn't really know. Rose is a paladin. Dragon's a barbarian. Uh, Scotty's a wizard. Tika's a bard. Um, and Quinn is warlock. So you don't have a ranger. You don't have any kind of like outdoorsman in the party. But you kind of think that Two of them together are probably a mated pair. Aww. And they're probably not going to kill each other. And yeah, yeah we could just starve them. We have to <laughs> we have to wait till they have a baby so we have the right level to fight. <laughs> oh my God. Poison them. Let's just like put poison in a banana. <laughs> uh, as soon as you find banana and <laughs> I'll consider that as an option uh -huh. <laughs> so as you come down to the east again there is this passage to the north it comes down that I got it? <laughs> but you guys are going to the east and you get to this corner and it turns south and it's a long hallway there's a door down here to the south and it looks like the corridor probably continues south past that but there's also a door is there a door at the top hang on hang on looks weird there's like a round stone in the middle uh, of the road. Yeah. I'm off. hungry. Somebody make me a sandwich. I'd like to have a donut. You got it during right your potty break. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I thought about one. getting some pudding, uh, but I didn't want to eat pudding in front of you guys. I eat in front of y'all all the time. <laughs> yeah, but it's not pudding. <laughs> Popcorn and pudding are totally different. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> so, as uh, let's see, who's in who's in front down here? To be Ed. Who's that, Ed? So as you get down to this area, and by this area, I mean this area down here. <laughs> um, hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. Isn't there a... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is... Um, Hey, guys, there's something down here. What is it? There's a door. There's a a door. door. Right right here. Right here. There's a door right here. Are you the Damn, blue? I walked door? right by it. Yeah, that's the blue. That's the blue pinging. I'm blue pinging. And there's also a... Uh, I'm the pink pinger. And there's also the door down here. Mm-hmm. We say we do the top door because it looks like there's less space to go. Okay. Yeah, this this map is kind of hard to see the doors. I just did a perception check for that door. <laughs> uh, like, so, Osama, as you as you listen to the door, you hear um, with that roll, you hear some scuttering, like scraping noises, like. And then a break, and then, sh -sh 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 -sh. but it's really kind of uh, dim. But there's definitely you feel definitely like there's something in this room, but you don't know what it is. It might be a banana plant blowing in the wind. <laughs> I, that's, I, I, exactly that's, that's what it is. Or uh, I uh, we open the door, put Scotty in there, and then close the door and see what happens. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, or Ed, Ed's open there. the door. Uh, we'll, we'll like, I'll <coughs> very, like, I'll creak it open just a little bit just to take a peek. Okay. So, what you see with your little peek, the door opens in uh, to the left. So you kind of see this little glimpse into this room and, oh, shoot. Okay. Hang on. I need to use the right tool. Um, let's reveal it all. Oh, hey. Hey. I see in room in the chat. 37, 37, 37. So this, this room. The closest thing to a rat I got. <laughs> it's a Pikachu. Pikachu is a rat, for sure. For sure. Uh, this room appears to be empty except for an oddly shaped mound in the southwest corner of the room. Rustling and faint squeaking noises seem to come from the mound. So down here in the corner. So, so... I was peeking when I see that I immediately close it and then look at Ed and Scotty next to me and like, what do we do? They're just rats, oh. right? Yeah, they're Are giant, they rats. giant rats. I mean, giant what's rats. they're giant rats. Give me a like a Saint Bernard. What what are we talking? Um, I wish we would have kept that dog. <laughs> Are they R O U S S rodents of unusual size? Wow. That's they definitely are. Another um, reference that Scotty doesn't get. Yeah. <laughs> they are. Oh, Scotty. Um, da, 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 da. Scotty, have you seen the Spider Man movies? No. Well, lucky for you, apparently all of the Spider-Man movies are coming back onto theaters. So you can watch them. 
That's exciting. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Garfield oh, ones. <laughs> so, so they are a good like foot and a half to two feet. They are. Oh really hell! Small, I think size. we can take these guys. <laughs> Absolutely, and there are you know if on on quick count, you think there's probably nine or ten of them. I think probably five. Good lord. I don't trust the one with the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I love Rizzo. Who? Rizzo the rat. That's what Ed's playing. From the Muppets. No. I'm not. Familiar. Yeah. Oh my God, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> The Muppets? What are you talking about? I've never heard of the Muppets. You I've shut heard of that. <laughs> Isn't that where... Um, you have to have heard of the Muppets. <laughs> Even I, I remember the Muppets. Like Count and Miss Piggy and Oscar. No, yes, when that yes, Oscar, but yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Was, I'm, this will tell you how old I am. I used to hate Billy Carter because he used to do his presidential speeches during the Muppets on Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd make me so mad when he would come on because I wanted to watch the Muppets. Yes. <laughs> Muppet uh, Train is probably one of my favorite. You mean you mean Jimmy Carter, right? Not oh, Billy man, Jimmy Hayden? Carter. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Billy, Carter. <laughs> Billy was just getting hammered. <laughs> Billy was he the brother he who had the so beer. He doesn't even remember the name. Billy Beer. Like seriously, I, I, come I smiling, and I'd I be so for, mad. I know for a fact that my dad back in the day bought at least one can of Billy beer at some like <laughs> auction something. So somewhere in, in the uh, uh, whatever backlog of, of, of great resources that my family has procured, we have a can of Billy beer. Somewhere. <laughs> Uh, okay, did everybody? Let's see, we got Scotty, we got everybody Quinn, clap your hand. we got we got Kalish, I didn't we got Rose, and we're in the looking up the Muppets. Yeah, roll initiative for me. Buddy. I got a three. Oh, good, 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 good. Um, okay, so one of these rats, this <laughs> one, is gonna go first and. Um, uh, so did you guys go in the room? Or Where's where that outside? You know, it's really weird because it highlighted on uh, Killers, but not on mine. Hmm. hmm. So, so if I recall, Quinn opened the door, saw the rats, and then shut the door. Yes. Turned to everybody and said, "There's a bunch of rats in here," or whatever oh, he said. So the question is: Do you open the door and fight the rats? Do you move down the hallway and ignore them, or what do you do? We have 13 minutes. Let's kill these things. Yeah, I agree. Let's roast them. All right. So, is this a door up top too? That we happen Ooh. to walk right by. All right. <laughs> But we actually came from the south, so we haven't gone past that door yet. Oh, yeah, it actually is a door. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, came, we came down this hallway. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, we did. I totally missed that. <laughs> so there's a door here, and there's a door here. Before, are we like restricted to rounds right now, or like could we split some of us to the top and some of us to the bottom, or would you all yeah, want to do that? You can do that, absolutely. You could do that. Do you all want to do that? Ed loves that. We shut the stuff. door he and I cast blast blast on the, the melee. I mean, they're 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 so you just bought some skeletons, skeletons or skeletons, they're pretty easy. Um, giant rats you think are probably pretty easy. So if you want to divide and conquer and take them out. Giant monkeys, easy. not so easy. You think, like, <laughs> you think like that's a you know viable proposition for sure. I would say Whip, Kalish, and Rose go to the top or the other door from there. And then me, Scotty, and Ed will stay here and go from here. Okay. 
That sounds like a good. I'm going I get to, to hang uh, out with the ladies. I'm going to touch myself <laughs> and give myself four healing points for my lay on hands. Do you want three healing points, Whip? Sure, that'll put me back to full health. I'll touch Whip's head, say, Morden be with you, and he'll heal for three. Nice. I'm casting Bless on my group. Thank you, sir. Now he's got one of <laughs> What does that do? Bless gives you a 1d4 extra on your attack rolls. Okay. Four saving throws. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so you were positioned one group at the north door, one group at the east door. <clears throat> Who's you guys going are going to have to go in first because that first wreck gets to bite you. Uh, who's who's going in first? Not me. Uh, I, see, I see Whip in front of the door, and I see Scotty in front of the door. I can go in and do some acid. Is it okay. Scotty or Ed in front of the door? I think it's Ed in front of the door. I already deleted the acid, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go in and drop some acid and tell us how it goes? Here, have that for Hey, acid. man, you <laughs> make it cool. <coughs> or, oh, gee, go, dude. Do we have to go in the turn order? Or no? What? Do we have to do the turn okay. order? To enter the uh, room or are we in the turn order? Yeah, yeah, so so I think that because you guys uh, open the door and then close the door, um, this first dude that was supposed to go is not going to get a chance. So we're going to go to Kalish, has the first opportunity to do something unless you want to hold and wait for somebody else to open the door. Uh, but Kalish, you're up. And right behind you is Quinn. And then there's some Who is? giant strats that will come in. Okay. Um, you know what? As I think I should probably hold because me going in first is not going to be a good idea. So can I hold and then jump in at any point that I want to? Well, so... so I think how does that way, work? I think the way that, that it typically works is you have a held attack or held action based on some kind of determinant. So if if like the rats charge out, then you attack. Or if your fellow party charge in, then you come in behind them and shoot your bow or spell or whatever. But, but you want a specific trigger action to be able to tie it to whatever action that you want to do. So what I'd like to do is cast fairy fire, but only once someone moves into the room and draws their attention, basically. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. So what you might want to do is just slide a little bit um, over here where we got a cleaner shot into it, but then you can hold that action until um, <laughs> the beaver <laughs> party members um, breach the door, and then you can have that uh, fairy fire set off to go off. Yep. Let's do that then, please. Okay, we'll do it. Uh, next up is Quinlan. And Quinn is down on the other side. Mm -hmm. So what are you thinking, buddy? <clears throat> Might as well open the door and go in. I so, for some reason, I'm clicking on the StreamYard window, but so I open the <laughs> door and I stand. It does not work. <coughs> oh, you got to move in roll 20. You got to be in roll 20 to move. <laughs> if, you're, if you're in your roll 20 window instead of the. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not that new now. Okay, so 
I oh, go, good. I stand by the door, and then oh. I'm going to use poison spray. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Eleven. Constitution save. Poison spray. And he gets a 1d4 or two uh, save throws if he needs to add that. If that would help. Oh, yeah, that's true. What Ed gave, right? Yeah, just roll a 1d4. And that doesn't go away until 10 rounds. So... I click the oh, hold on. There's one D four. So you doing this critter down here? Uh, are you doing? It's not a direct yeah, attack. So it's it's one creature that uh, uh, hits for one D twelve poison damage. Uh, but the creature gets a saving throw of Constitution 13. So let's do a Constitution. Oh, he doesn't roll anything. Yeah. Mm -mm, no, it's a saving throw. And he saved. Okay. Uh, yeah, I made the save. So is that half damage? Mm -mm. No, it's just a save. Yeah, yeah. Dang it. Uh, so you come in, sprays and uh, poison spray. This. <laughs> so so as you come in, Quinn, as you come in and you look at these rats, um, they, they have red glowing eyes. They look diseased. They look like rats in general don't look healthy, but these things look really, really, really nasty. And so it, it kind of like your poison spray hits the rat, and he's like, psh, 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 come on, buddy, try harder. He doesn't care. He shrugs it off. Um, it, it seems to do no damage at all to him. Great. So with that, we have uh, this diseased rat right here that's going to take the opportunity to run up. I need to get my diseased rat stat block window. Um, <laughs> uh, diseased rats. Uh, okay. 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 And they do bite, melee weapon attack plus four. Okay. Do, I, can, I can't do it from here. So you go back. Here, and this is a plus four, so it's a 19 to hit on Quinn. Quinn takes a beating. Uh, oh, for three points, three massive points of damage, Quinn. Hey, hey, hey. From the diseased <laughs> rat. Now, hang on, let me see. Uh, I also need a constitution saving throw from you, please, Quinn, because you were bitten by the diseased rat. Quinn's going to turn into a were rat. I beg yeah, to differ. Not... Oh, nice. Ah, nice roll. Yes. So you managed to shrug off the. <laughs> <laughs> Pure wedding. What was that? Anyway, that was She's a monk um, judge. Monk rat. <laughs> okay. So that rat attacks and and misses. Where's this rat? Where's this guy? This guy. This guy. This guy right here. He's got 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, he's going to attack Scotty Too Hottie. What? <laughs> you look tasty. <laughs> Wait, how much damage did I get? Oh, because you're, you're out. Oh, you're right. outside. Uh, 
But the door's open. Would he run past? Yeah, he's he's got enough room, but he's probably gonna. He would probably hit. So you got Quinn right here, and that's Ed. Oh, damn it. I was gonna move out the way and have Ed go and. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm, I'm I'm used to our groups like like charging in the room and just like everybody being in there. So, uh, okay, what what does he do then? This guy, he's right here. So he's probably going to hit Quinn instead because Quinn is right I in the like door. Sorry, uh, for a twenty, <laughs> which is a natural 20 which is a d6 times two wow that's 14 points oh, I'm regretting. Points <laughs> on a critical strike yeah that's um yeah whoever said you were grabbing him and pulling him out of that room that would be a <laughs> thing to do. Ed, yeah. save me. <laughs> I shall try. I mean, they're just they're just giant rats, so there's not it's not that but he got a critical hit. Yeah. And and yeah, that sucked. <laughs> how much wait, how much damage do I have currently? Did I get um I think uh fourteen is what you took. So I oh, think you're down. No rat could do that much. And three for the other. other. There's only nine more in the room that can bite us for that much. So that was 17 total points of damage from two rats. <laughs> uh, yes, or whatever you do, don't lay on the ground. I only no, have 17 points. 17 oh, yeah. so, points. So, yeah. So if 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 that's the case, C Quinn comes in the room. <laughs> he throws his he throws his spell, and two rats jump on him and knock him down, ninja style. Uh, so Quinn, right now you are at zero hit points. You're oh, unconscious. You're yeah. unable to move. If you're not healed within immediately, uh, you have a risk of dying. You will do a a, a health saving throw every round for the next three rounds if you make it you live if you get if you get three successes you survive if you get three fails you die um there's plenty of ways to save you uh but you are uh, essentially comatose on the floor right now which is the first time i think i've ever done that to a character although i'm not <laughs> huzzah with yeah, I, I, I know, I know, it feels I, like I've knocked some of you off before, but it's, but it's been a little while since I've knocked any of you off. So yeah. Quinn is knocked down um, and incapacitated, and we are going to the next turn, which is um, yeah. a rat. Yeah. yeah, it's a rat, but I can't find which rat it is. I thought that was the oh, second. It's, it's the rat. It's the rat that I moved where Scotty was. Yeah, but I can't get there. So that was Scott the critical. Here. Role, this is the rat. So uh, Quinn is down. <laughs> the rat is going to scurry out past the down body, and he's going to attack Ed. And again, this is a bite, which is whatever I roll plus four. So it's a 15 to hit, Ed. Yep. Does he take damage from biting my armor? <laughs> uh, Maybe not. No, a <laughs> no but, a, a, but a 15 does not hit, correct? Correct. Correct. So that rat had his turn. He tried <laughs> to bite. And he bit your armor, and maybe he chipped a little bit of his enamel off his tooth, but <laughs> really not that big of a deal. So next up mad. is, is this. Benjamin mm -hmm. says, is that Yoda's cat? <laughs> that was under war, 
I typed in war rat and that's what I got was a hairless cat. <laughs> okay, well, I think I might have missed one of the rats in here, but no big deal because they all come at the end. So uh, it looks like, Rose, you are up. All right, so I'm going to look at my party, <laughs> my little half of the party. And um, do you all want to try to lure a rat out or should we just go in? Like how? Like open the door a little bit and go... Yeah. Come here, Chatters. Come here. Chatters. Can she open the door and then let me cast fairy fire on everybody in the room? Or as close to everybody in the room as I can? Where does the door have to be all the way open for that? Or do we need to just, like, I'll bust the door, stand, like, here-ish. And then she casts fairy fire. So that would give advantage, right? Um, Let me go look. Fairy fire, fairy fire, fairy fire. I can. Um, Each I object in a 20 foot cube within range. So it doesn't. Um, you don't necessarily have to see them, it doesn't say. Like if you crack the door open and cast it in there, in a, in a 20 foot something, something, you could do it. Okay. Presumably, sure. Basically, these would be the four corners of the fairy fire. This rat. To yeah, this. so you'll probably miss this guy down here. Yeah, these two, three. But I think you can okay. get one, two, three, four. Like, I, can, I think you can get what, a 30 foot? 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. It's a 20 foot cube so i don't know if that means you know four by four square oh, tw tw yeah, 20 foot cube, so. yeah so it'll be these oh, shoot <laughs> no, <not again. laughs> we know, Look at how we know. Effective that was. it'll it'll okay. start here and end up here and then over here so, to over here one, two, so to leave these three on the bottom out. I'm yeah, if I go from here. Yeah. Down to there. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. Bingo. We've got a we've got a plan. Okay, so Benjamin. One, two, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Can you put little dots on them? There's oh, yeah, seven. Put, There's seven. Oh, you're so good. Oh, look. I can or do a square. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now, can you move the square? <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I tried to do that earlier. And I, uh, if you can tell me how to move. Good square, Lord. That... Great. The rats with the little blue noses are the ones that will have fairy fire. So I should be able to get all of them, right? Except yeah. for the one that's outside. No, you're Over going 20, you're going twenty feet from your dot, not from where yeah. you're casting. So yeah, that's yeah, twenty. That's the your point, right? That's the radius. It's a twenty line. foot. It's a twenty foot square. Right. Oh, so, so it's you have the twenty feet. feet. Huh. Okay. So there you go. There this thing. Yep. All right. Yeah. So those. Um, okay. So it's on measure. You can change the shape from a line to a square, or a circle, or a cone, or a beam. What if we? What if? Depending on where you want to go, uh, but you could definitely get these five. But you could probably these these two on the bottom too. Yeah, you could probably get these two as well. Okay. So and that's and that's fairy fire. So one, yes. two, three, four, five, six, seven of the ten. Yeah, good, good. Okay. And can I do my bonus action now or because I delayed I can't do that? You can only uh, you hold the bonus action, but these guys do get a saving throw. 
dexterity saving throw one two three four five six seven seven saving throws one two <laughs> three four five six seven and i believe that's at a dex 13. so fail we'll, uh, we'll start at the top made it fail fail made it made it made it fail fail made it uh fail Did they get a plus because at a 12 uh not on saving throws no i see fail, only fail. i only see two that made it uh 16 14 that's still those are the two that made it everything else is below 13. yep you're right whip <laughs> sorry jeez whip <laughs> next week your lives for monkeys whip <laughs> next week your dm that's all <laughs> It's easy so, to be a okay. backseat driver when so, I'm in the backseat. <laughs> so okay, let's uh, let's just mark this guy and this guy as the guys who made it, and everybody else. Is is uh oh you know what actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that and break my rule because I can because I have the DM so we'll we'll make these two guys that were on the edge we'll make them the ones that weren't caught in the fairy fire so Kalish came in and through the fairy fire kind of in this area you know whatever whatever. Uh, these two guys managed to save and avoid being lit up. <clears throat> but all these guys are lit up. And actually, this guy. So the ones with one dot are at disadvantage? Or we roll with advantage? Correct. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. So. Can I use my bonus action for the real quick? since I'm in the middle of that, or is that because I delayed, I can't? Uh, no, you, you. if you have a bonus action, you can still do a bonus action, yeah. That I would like to cast um, Bardic Inspiration on Rose. Oh. Okay, cool. What do you say to inspire me? <laughs> <laughs> you can do it! <laughs> I feel inspired. <laughs> okay, so... I'm glad so that your nobody, in the Monday, I'm glad in the Monday campaign nobody asked me how to what I what I actually <laughs> say in the part of inspiration. <laughs> I'll make sure but now to that we know that we are going to. <laughs> well, I, I, when I when I started that bard character, I have like pages and pages of of uh, vicious mockery and mm. uh, bardic inspiration quotes, but it just it. We don't actually role play, so it doesn't matter. I can just say it. I don't actually have to say it. But I like that asking. I'm going to mess Mrs. Jason be like, every time he does vicious mockery of bardic inspiration, he has to say a quote. <laughs> 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 From now on. So That's I'm going to move down in between right. these two rats. Um, I'm going to start this one. I'm gonna see how how tough they are first, I think, because we haven't really attacked yet. Um, yeah, I'm going to do I'm gonna do long sword one handed. Okay. And kaboom, net twenty. Yeah. The one in front of me is the one I'm attacking. So Okay. Well, actually, let's do this one. I'm sorry. Is that okay? Yeah. Against the wall. Okay. Um, <laughs> you raise your longsword. You bring it down through the diseased rat's head, and 
it absolutely obliterates that creature. Oh, no. <laughs> and then I'm going to call out to the other team, one rat dead on our side. And that will end my turn. And just to let you two know, or all of y'all know, I have the protection still, so we can attempt that if you're near me within five feet. So do you want to uh, call out to, like, gather around you? No, it's just if they want to. If they're within five feet, I'll use my reaction if they get attacked to okay. do protection. I didn't know if Kalish, I don't know what her AC is or... I'm sorry, I don't know your Pathetic character. Pathetic and small. I'm a little tiny thing that will get crunched easily. <laughs> Can I yell across one man down on our side? <laughs> oh my god, guys, they got men on their side. <laughs> uh, the all-female team seems to be doing better. Con continuing on with the northern agent <laughs> of the party, Whiplash is up. Yeah. I am going to move here and attack this one. No, I take that back. I am going to move the here and attack this one. Okay. And I am rolling with advantage, correct? Yep. Correct. Sure. So, are. first sword. Oh, he had like four tries. Wow. And sneak attack. Is 13 a hit or do I need to roll a second time? Uh, 13 is a hit. <laughs> Let me. Uh, since I have advantage, I'm going to roll a second time just in case I get a nat. Nope, oh, I did not. So you're pretty close, so. Yeah. That was so worth I got <laughs> the first. Uh, I don't know which one you go with. The first one was a oh, seven. We'll take, this, we'll take the seven for sure. Um, and then because I'm standing next to Rose, oh, but she's not engaged with that one. Does that matter? Uh. She's close enough. I mean, she's within five feet, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, then there's just that. additional two. All right. That's enough to take care of that one as well. Two okay. Then I one. have a, I have a second blow to, to uh, deal out. Yep. Yep. So 12. Oh, I don't know if 12 didn't hit. I am out of luck. 12, 12, 12. Did you get you didn't get bardic inspiration yet? Did you? I did not. No, uh, actually, <laughs> actually, whip 12 hits. 12 hits. Okay, well, then it's nine damage and nine damage. Yes, disease rat number two. Out of commission. Oh. Excellent. Oh. Can I just They're stop you for rats. a second? They're skeletons and giant rats. Even though it's a yeah. deep layer, like this is the, we're getting our feet wet here. Like next time yeah. you're going to get your butts kicked, but right now, <laughs> this, this is easy. Yeah, I don't, this would not fly with the, the, the monkeys. Can I have a timeout for a second? Oh my goodness. Yeah, do you want to take two minutes? No, I just want to be on the initiative thing because <gasps> I think Quinn would like that. Oh. I, I rolled a six, but it didn't go up there. Well, why? Oh, and I, why? Hey, oh, no, I yeah. Think because I think what's hey, happening hey. is my thing uh, keeps blinking off. Like every so often it blinks and I think it takes unlocks me or something. Hmm. So Ed, just just roll it again and I'll add you in at whatever you actually were. Sorry about that. Hey, no, it's not I your fault. This in I, I it, I've never had initiative problems before, you know, 
not having me marked. Here, but, uh, for some it. reason, it, it, it like cla it crashes quickly every so often. I think it unlocks my name. You know, it it untargets me every time it does that. Did, um, if you press the sort button. I don't know. Know. That no, it happens when I do it. Ed, what did you have originally? The six. A six. Okay. Yes, Scotty's at a six too. Yeah. And so am I. So. Yeah, a lot of people rolled bad, but, uh, and and a lot of the creatures rolled bad too. So no big deal. Um, where were we at? Because I just rearranged the entire order. Um, well, I was a five, so I I kind of apparently jumped in front of them. Whip just oh, killed better. two rats, and I killed one. So that makes three for our team, and it should be Scotty or Chet Ed's turn. Yep. I'm just going to heal someone, so it, I'm not going to be attacking. <laughs> um. So Kalish went, Quinn went, this rat went, <laughs> but Ed didn't go. So Ed, you're up. Okay. I am going to cast uh, Cure Wounds, and I'm going to touch Quinn for ooh, 11 points wow. of damage, or healing points. Like nice. some atmospheric muscle. <laughs> nice. Well done, Ed. Well done. Great. Point, or to give. <laughs> so Quinn, you are alive, you're awake, but you are prone on the ground. When your next turn comes up, you need to spend half of your movement to be able to stand up or crawl away. But you're alive because Ed saved you. So <laughs> now would I have a bonus yeah. action or have a could I use my bonus action to pull him out of the room? So he'd be kind of pulled down. The uh, you have movement that you haven't used. And I would say you could absolutely grab him by the his collar or jacket or whatever and pull him out. You know, even if you end up falling back in the passageway, you can get him out of uh, immediate danger. For sure. Or yes. How about if I pull him up? I'll pull him up between me and Scotty right here. Okay. Yeah, and 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 I think you can probably do that. I mean, Ed, give me a uh, oh Strength. athletics. Okay. Athletics. Athletics. I'm a kind check. of an athletical guy. <laughs> well, I got an eight. No, you aren't. Yep. All right. Well, I roll. That was with a bonus so, three. That so healing took a lot out of you. <laughs> you. You do. You are able to pull Quinn back, you know, kind of around this area. Oh, and I'm going to step all over everybody. And sorry about that. Uh, so you're able to pull him over here, and you kind of collapse a little bit against the between the wall and Scotty, and you're all kind of a hot mess for a minute, but. You know, pretty quick you can regain uh, your, your composure and and uh, go on with your next uh, set of turns, right? 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 Would that, that provoke an gonna... opportunity attack? Uh, oh, that no. one on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll take it. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll see. Since you guys asked for this it. guy's tooth. Oh, 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 like you totally do chip his tooth. Like as he comes up on you, you just catch your edge of your sword, like just in a way between his two front teeth, and you tweak one of his teeth out, and he's like, ah, ha, ha. not Sorry. happy. He's not happy. He's not happy. Nice. But he's also not killing you. So Rose, you're up. Uh, no, it's actually going to be Scotty because I took okay. my turn for this round. Oh, okay. Sorry. You're fine. Hey, Scotty, go I for the bard rat. Which one's that? This one. 
<laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. I do not look like that. No. He's adorable. They got one, right. too. I go to the doorway. And how close are these guys? You want to do some acid on them, maybe? Let me look. Yeah, that um, look cool. Five feet of each other. One block is five feet, right? Correct. Yep. So I can do acid on these two front ones. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And, and I am, let me make sure I'm, I'm selected. Okay. And then I go over here. I got to click here. I click here. I go here. Oh, jeez. I was like watching his little character so intently. Like, where's he going? What's he moving? Mm -hmm. He's doing his mouse. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think actually, Scotty, I think I need to make a dexterity saving throw versus I think you automatically hit unless I make the save. So it's a DC 12. Okay. I'm reading this right. Dexterity 12. On both so, of them. Stand by. We'll do DC. Oh, shoot. I rolled that wrong. It needs to be a DC or a D20. Boom. And I'm looking for a 12. So he made it and he made it. Yeah. Uh, and my reading of this. I had an acid wrap all saved. set up. Or take so I I see no damage because they both made both made their saving throw. Sorry, dead bullshit. I rolled really Maybe. bad earlier, and I happened to roll two nineteens right there, and so I don't I don't know. This is what this is why we play the game. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna yell to the other side. They keep biting us. <laughs> <laughs> keep biting. Hold on, we're coming. So I think it skips down to the two rats that have two dots on them. Exit. Correct, because we have a gone. Yeah, and so is the rat that's below here. That one's moved. So it should be these this two This guy rats. down here? This guy yeah, down that here one's is moved, moved, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when I, when, when I had to redo the turn order, mm -hmm. it screwed everything up, and I'm sorry. Yeah, it's so good. Whip went, and so we now have this. Did that rat go? The one with two dots on them are the ones that are next in turn. So I have three. I have those two. I'm and I also sure. have this one. I also have this guy that hasn't gone yet, I don't think. This one hasn't gone? Oh, okay. Before we get to... Th so oh, so yeah. it's this one, this one. I don't know if you can see those pings. This yeah. one, this one. And this one. Okay. Actually, see if I can Pardon add. Me. Add a red dot to this guy. So. So the red dots are the guys that have yet to go. The blue dots are the guys who are fairy fired. No. Yeah. Well, you had one red dot that. Oh, he's dead. So it doesn't matter. So yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, so I think this rat is going to move over here and attack Scotty. No. Use <laughs> <laughs> animal handling. <laughs> Come on, Scotty, you can take it. Uh, that's a 10, so I'm pretty sure that's a miss. That's a miss. Nice try. <laughs> and then it is these two... So I think. Oh, Those look like they have three go? glasses on. One of them's gonna go up here <laughs> and attack Whip. The other no. one's gonna go up here and attack Rose. So first they attack. Rose. So the one that's attacking Whip will take my reaction to roll disadvantage. Oh. Protection. And that is dynamically placed because he had a natural 20 and he ended oh. up with an 18, which is still a hit. 
but it's only six plus. Hang on, I think six plus six plus two, so eight points of damage instead of 20 ish. Yeah, that was that was well, well, well timed. Um, and there's, then a, there's the a reason why I'm standing next to her right there. <laughs> The one rose on you. <laughs> what? Uh, wow. Interestingly enough, the, the one on you rose rolls a fumble. Complete. Like a natural 20 on whip and a one on rose. Yeah, I'm going to scream to the other group. We're so scary. They can't even hit us. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Well, now I, I know it. why okay, you guys stuck so me with these guys, so I'd have to waste all my time keeping them alive. That's both of their turns. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and we're back to Kalish. We are now back to Kalish. Yay. All right. Yay. I will slightly step into the room and swing at the one next to Rose with my short sword. Okay. Uh, eight is going to be a miss. Anything else? And that's that's it for me. You, okay. She can offhand attack with her dagger, can't she? Oh, that's right. I do have a second. Yeah. You are oh, correct. Thank oh, you. Oh, oh. Uh, well, actually, wait a minute, because is that guy... Is that oh, no, guy he guy? is... He's no, he's, be advantage. He's, he's fairy fired, so you got to have advantage. No, no, the one with the double dots, he's not. He, he, he saved. Yeah, they're not fairy fired. Uh, see, Same with this I guy here. Yeah. That's why, Whip, you need to be the DM. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I mean, no. <laughs> or, or... Well... So... Yeah. Okay, the, the 14 with the dagger hits. Yes. Do some damage. Oh, good one. Six. Six. That's not Six. bad for a dagger. Is that max with the dagger? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, he is very, very bloody, but he is not dead. Not dead. I probably need to keep track of this. Yeah, so you, you hit him, you miss him, and then you hit him, and it definitely does damage. Um, two, three. Okay. All right. And then, Quinn, you are up, but you are down. <laughs> you are at, at one hit point. No, he got healed. I got 11. Oh. He's oh, got that's right. He just he's just prone. He just needs to get up. That's right. So you need to stand up and then decide what you want to do. Thank you. Kitty needs to be a dungeon master. <laughs> Quinn. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, it's it's a dungeon master group. Everybody there you gets go. There. <laughs> that's right. That's right. We're all back. <laughs> Do I need to do anything to stand up? Uh, no, just it's half of your action. So if you want to move, you only have 15 foot, foot of movement, 15 feet of movement. All right. But yeah, you can, you can do a, a, any normal, you can move 15 feet, you can attack, you can Bonus action. do anything you would normally do. Woo! Uh, you have reduced movement for this round. It's some revenge. Yep, I need to figure out where 15 feet is. So it's uh, three squares. Yeah. yeah. Each box three. is so, one, so two, far. Our team has only knocked out a rat tooth. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to wait. If I if I move. Would I still be able to attack or? Yeah. Is yep. Yep. Yes. Every, 
Yes. Everything's you the can, same. You just can only go 15 instead of 30. I yep, got you. Can okay. move. So I'm going to mm -hmm. move. Okay. So I'm going to move in front of this little thinky poo poo. And <laughs> I'm going to use my quarter staff. Exactly. Eat that. Mm. <laughs> Gotta say that's a mess. Uh, Dang it. Oh. Caramba. Do you have a dagger? Uh, <laughs> if you had... Yeah, you didn't get part of inspiration or anything, did you? Uh, he did. Didn't Ed say he was blessing his whole group? He has bar he has blessing, so he can roll one d four. Oh, nice! He, that is true. So it's it's going to be a stretch, but you can try the one d four blessing, <laughs> which is hit the four Just Ed, remind Ed, remind me. You can use that for up to like multiple times. Like it lasts for like ten, 10 minutes, right? Well, or it's one time. round, so it's. I think it's one round, so it's. I guess it's yeah, six. Well, times. It can't be one round. That would be six Maybe seconds. Ten minutes or ten minutes. See, I think ten minutes. I'll go look. In the meantime, it, I I, the quarter staff. It's never worn off in any fight I've ever been in. Yeah. Again, you, got, you know, just just understand, I'm not an actual DM. I'm just making this up. Right. So, <laughs> so we're going to go the screen. and we're going to say you can have. You can have a 1d4 plus. So so if you go to either your character sheet on the lower left or on roll 20, uh, there's a little menu on the left-hand side. Just roll a 1d20 or, or no, a 1d4 for for one minute of fighting, which I think is six rounds. It is, yeah. Yeah, six rounds. Yep. It just oh, the fight never four, actually lasts four. longer than a minute. I got a four. So, uh, nice, Quinn. That little inspiration makes that miss a hit. Give me your damage roll, which is that was a the two plus one. Quarterstaff is a bludgeoning one D six plus two. Probably be like hitting a baseball with a baseball bat. Six, 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 six plus two. So when after being knocked down and and almost eaten by the rats, you charge up to this beast. You bring your quarter staff down on its skull, and you kill everything Yay. about all of its essence. Absolutely. Don't underestimate the warlock. Good job. I not only have brains, I've got brawn. <laughs> You're the it. man. Do not mess with the warlock. And, and, and with, exactly. And, I, I, and I have to say, with that quarter staff, I, I'm going to keep mistaking you as a monk. I keep thinking <laughs> he's a priest, so it's and okay. Staff and yeah, he's a cool character. I'll, I'll be a hundred percent honest. We've been playing what this is our fifth or sixth time together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still have no idea what any of you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because I started out the first couple of them by like going around the table and saying, "Who are you and what do you do?" And, exactly. Uh, yeah, I, 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 and I miss you know one of the things I like about role playing and miss sitting around a table of people is actually role playing. Like, in, so yeah, yeah I don't know, interesting, but. Hmm. I know for well, a fact we're, 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 all, we're, all, we're only I mean we've only spent a few hours. <laughs> I want this shit written down. Yeah, yeah well <laughs> you, know, you, right you, right. you just gotta tell me what you are. <laughs> I'll have, I'll have sticky notes all over the place going, okay, that's right. 
Well, <laughs> and, and actually, you can go to the D&D Beyond page and you can go to this game account and you can go pull up anybody's characters. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, if you go to D&D Beyond and you go to my campaigns, if you're a member of that campaign, you can go, so you can go into uh, Mr. Manifestos, you can go into mine, you can go into Chris's, and any of the characters that are set up in there, you can go look at them. Like when I play, like right now I have, um, it, on my one window, I have the Roll20 map, but then next to that I have a number of tabs that are Ed's character, Whip's character, Holly's character, uh ed's uh skipper's character although he's not here so we can sure not. There they all are. Uh, scotty's character uh kalish's character and quinn's character i have them all open so i can go look at any of them um but if, if you if, yeah if you go into roll 20 or uh, uh no D D beyond and you go into campaigns you can look up what everybody is so in this campaign Ed is a drow elf cleric. Whip is a wood elf fighter rogue. Rose is a dwarf paladin. Scotty's a halfling wizard. Kalish is a halfling bard. And Quinn is a half elf warlock. So we have a couple of halflings. They get lucky. Elves. Oh, I didn't realize y'all were halflings. We have dwarfs. Well, and we have a dark elf. Do you yeah, have it's something on your... World. Sorry. Well, you know, depending on what you want to do. <laughs> Long term. I just, just want to bring our attention to what Cody says in the chat. Oh, hmm. I haven't looked at chat in like an hour. <laughs> right <now. laughs> uh, <laughs> Hey, what, what is this chat you speak of? Yes, oh. Killer Katie would be an amazing DM. That's the first thing I see. Oh, well, I'll yeah. read it. It says, I wholeheartedly disagree, Xanadu. You brought this party together and helped share the game and the joy it brings. Oh. Thank you. Cody, oh. That might be good. Oh, what I make it kill you. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but but that is that is super cool, and and it is it is fun. That's so. awesome, Cody. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Okay, carry on. Killer Kitty, what were you gonna say? <laughs> oh, so halflings. I'm pretty sure they get a racial ability called Lucky. So anytime you all roll a nat one, you get to re-roll it. Oh, now you tell me. Just because you're born yeah, a halfling. Yeah. Look into it and make sure, awesome. but I'm pretty sure you all are lucky. And fearless. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, fear, and I, I do think that there are probably, like, pretty much across all of the players, there are probably things that you can do that you're not taking advantage of. And that's okay, mm -hmm. because... <laughs> Because I'm not a real DM, so if you take advantage of them, I'm going to get my butt kicked. Uh, unless you go fight the apes again. <laughs> That's it, Kalish. Mm -hmm. So just remember that when you two roll a nat one, just be like, feeling lucky, roll it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Abs absolutely, absolutely. All right, Ed. Cool. Kill a mouse or rat me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's the mouse and then Ed, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I don't know. I could be wrong. No, uh, yeah, I think I think this guy, which is this guy, this guy, this guy was right in front of Scotty. <laughs> he was the one that got sprayed with acid. This was yep. acid rat. He's <laughs> <laughs> acid rat. <laughs> uh, so he's he's got acid in his face, and he absolutely totally misses. He like bites yeah. into the wall instead. Nice. Uh, and with that, Ed, you're up. Well, one, two, wait, one, two, three, four. What my shoe? Okay, I'll go there. 
And then I'm going to do my special <laughs> ability to have a second attack. But first, I'm going to whack this guy that doesn't have a dot on. Well, what's the red dots mean? Advantage. Oh, well, For very oh, it far. has advantage, or do I have advantage you on it? You have him? advantage on it. You have advantage on it. Well, then yeah. I'm going to swing on that one. Oops, if I can find how to do it. Okay. And if I blow this, I will swing my second time at this one. Otherwise, I'll be swinging the second one at the other. Here it goes. Okay. Sixteen is a hit. Eight damage. Which one were you swinging at? The one with, that I have advantage on. This guy? Yeah. With the red dot? Yep. And he's dead. Nope. <laughs> nice. Okay, now I'm going to swing at the other dirt bag. Okay. <laughs> dirt bag. Get oh him, my man. God. This is acid rat. Yeah. I just rolled a one. Yeah, that's a miss. <laughs> Humble Raya. Uh, but I think that brings us back to Rose. Rose. Okay. So we're still up by one rat, correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, has this one been hit? I don't think it has. I'm going to go for the one in front of me. Okay. And seventeen for ten slashing. Wow! Oh, that guy's dead. I impressed myself. Oh. And which <laughs> one? That that one south of you? Uh huh. Yeah, he's dead. All right. Smattered. Smattered it and. That will do my turn. Okay. Mr. Scotty. All right. We're we're gonna we're gonna go back to our traditional attacking and not a spell. And I'm gonna destroy this little rug rat in front of me. I'm going to utilize my Great sword, because I've never used it before. So let's see what it does. Okay. That and that. Well, yeah, so what? this 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 sword is darn near as big as you are, Scotty, apparently, and you're just not used to it. And so you try to swing it and you plop it on the floor. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like it. You would have liked it a lot if you had hit him. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Splatter oh, city. <laughs> so, speaking, Whip, you want to make commentary? Let's see what you got. You're yep, up. Yep, yep. Giddy up. I'm, I'm busy uh, with the new the new knowledge that I can look at everybody's character. I know. I've been, I've been <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, I'm gonna go for where'd everybody go? Um, I'm gonna hit the one that's directly below me. Yep, that one has I don't believe any damage, or, or I can't remember, but he uh, definitely has doesn't no, have no damage. Okay, so long sword number one. 19. Oh, nice. That'll hit for five points of damage. Five. It is still up. So that means it is I'm definitely bloodied. I'm going like to have to swing again at the same one this time. Swing okay. No, better. No double kills for me this week or this round. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, anyway. 24 hits. Nice. Wow. And six, oh, yeah. And that time it was six damage, so total absolutely, eleven. Absolutely, absolutely obliterates that dude. He is nice. gone. That's three for me. Nice. Good work, team. Good work. Two for <laughs> All right. So next up is this. 
this little infected disease K rat right here. He's right in front of. Uh, uh, Damn it! I should have gone for that one. Well, nice. so nice. let's do one, two, Kalish, three, four, Rose. Oh no! Kalish. Roll that at disadvantage because of protection. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank Which, you. you know, uh, 11, I think you're, yeah, you're 13. Oh, 13. So, so thanks to Rose's <laughs> blessings and, and uh, uh, whatever, you are, uh, you take no damage. Thank you, Rose. And Kalish, you, you're up. You inspire and so me. this guy, this rat, <laughs> right in front of you, just tried to take a bite at you. And uh, Rose's magic helped you get away from it. So now is your uh, chance. Revenge. A short sword. Let's hope. Hey. Just What's uh, up? heads up. I think you're a rat short. Uh -oh. One, two, one, two. One, two. Oh, in the turn, maybe that guy yeah. got killed. No, because they were all there. Let me see. Did I you maybe know. delete the wrong one? I might have. It's highly possible. <laughs> Just put him where are we at. So maybe one scurried away. <laughs> well, he's he's right here. I can see him, but he's not in the order. He got afraid and ran away. Okay, we'll add somebody in at a six. Oh, oh I understand what he's trying to say. He's just been confused and not in the fight this whole time. <laughs> oh, I think he was, though. It doesn't make sense because there's that rat. Oh, he's a zero. You got the same rat in there twice. He's a 12 and a 0. There he is. He added him. Yeah, I just, I just changed him. So. Perfect. There we go. I don't know. I don't but, know. We, uh, because Ed wasn't in, I had to... Yeah, we, we, it all got screwed up. That's okay. It's really hard to keep track of a lot of... I don't know how you do it. Everybody's going to get a chance to go, so... There was uh, a lot of rats in there. there. Including hopefully the bad guys. So uh, I think we are at the top of the round, and I think Kalish is ready to blast this rat. Because he pissed me off. Yes. Exactly. Damn, Kalish. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, the 22. Ooh. Oh, that's, a, that's a nine. That's got to be close to death. Well, he's that already is... close to death from our last attack. Die, Frick, yeah. or die. Like any any last breath that was left in that thing that he tried to attack you, you just absolutely pound his skull into the ground, and he is absolutely done. So, bye. Six breaths. So, <laughs> um. So that brings us back to Quinn. All right. There are two rats remaining. I'm going to move right here in the one right in front of my friend Scotty. <laughs> I am going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to use my dagger. Nah. Yeah, I'm going to use my dagger. Let's try the dagger. Okay. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That is definitely a hit. Give me your damage roll. What is damage on a on a dagger? Find uh, out. One d four. One d four plus one. One d four plus one. Four. Yep. Four points. Plus so, probably your your strength bonus. <laughs> Quinn, you 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 got your butt kicked. <laughs> by these things earlier in the fight uh, and, and you were 
resurrected, brought back. You come up and you stab this thing and you with really, a steely really, knife. Really, really like make it stagger back and bloody it and like cut a big gash out of it, but it's still up. Oh. Finish him. Add her, Scotty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking uh, at a bonus action. <laughs> so actually, we are we are now at the that rat that you just hit. And oh um, no. man, he didn't like that at all. So he's gonna look at Quinn and he is gonna roll this again, this straight roll plus four, I think. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh my god. Come on. <laughs> he needs to stop carrying cheese in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the... <laughs> you gotta this roll it. We, this is why we play the game, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh Lord. Lay it on uh, me. How much do I get damaged? So that's that's right. That's right. It's 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 so one d four. No, wait, one d four plus two. Oh but, my! But the four is doubled, so it's ten points of damage. So you got one point. Which you're still you're still one. Oh yeah. man, <laughs> Quinn! I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And who does the next rat attack? <laughs> like right the punching him. bag for the evening. Like, I'm not <laughs> intending at all. But, oh, oh shoot. Yeah, I'm a nobleman. Rough. This you're, is the you're phoenix. Off, you're alive. You'll come back to, it, it is the phoenix. You'll come back to fight another day. So, the other rat, uh, who's... <laughs> <laughs> also right there uh, <laughs> is is gonna is gonna who hit him last? I think Ed hit him last. So he's gonna attack Ed. Um, oh he's being oh, nice to you. Yes, he is. <laughs> master, you are so merciful. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely missed Ed. So we are on Ooh. to Scotty. Oh. Ooh. All right. We're going to try something a little different this time because I didn't like that last one. So <laughs> let's go to... What's, let's do... Did you guys pay attention to the uh, Mr. Manifesto's campaign when Skipper could not for the longest time, could not hit anything with his lead strike with his long sword. He'd miss every single time. And then he'd follow it up with a dagger that did like four damage. Yeah. <laughs> Don't remind me. Yeah. Um what I think I think you have magic okay. missiles. You're guaranteed three damage. Yeah. Yeah, there's that. I mean, they're they're giant rats, dude. Uh, Come on, uh, just what did he do? Oh, magic I'm... missiles! Magic missiles automatically hit. Yep. And, and I get to do three of them, right? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. So you got two points of damage. <laughs> Oh, yeah, points of damage. And seven. seven. Which one were you shooting at? The one right here. Right the one between everybody? The one, yeah, the one right by me. Uh, is that a range spell? Wouldn't that give you disadvantage where you're in melee range? Oh. So you should oh, probably... come on. Oh, I should turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it only has a creature of my choice. So, so again, this is Xanadu's 
dungeon fiasco. <laughs> we are a rule player. We're gonna kill this rat before it kills us. I'm not worried about <laughs> like, like if Scotty just hit that thing for how many points? Seven. seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Guess how many hit points these things have? Nine. Seven. I was gonna say, hey, all right, that's good. All right, let's go. So, which, which, which one was that one to the south? Oh, the one right by one you, right in front of them. Yep, okay, so and I can direct it to hit just one, it says, yeah, yeah, yep. And you needed all seven of those directed at that guy to be able to get that guy. Just saying, um, wow, I'm still missing one of my rats in the turn order though. Yeah, well, we no, didn't sir. added them. It, it, yeah, this is the one that attacked on. yeah, I, keep, it. Yeah. I just keep deleting the wrong one, I guess. I don't know. Um, okay, by my count, Rose is up. Okay. There's so, one rat left in the middle of the room. But he did just attack. You you did attack uh, Ed, and he missed. Yeah. So it's not like he missed his turn. Come on, Rose, you can do it. So I'm going to switch to my ability to do two weapon fighting. Okay. Um, I'm going to do longsword. I just found it, by the way. <laughs> but I okay. Uh, that is a 13. A 13 hits. Awesome. So that and is three points. And this guy was damaged earlier. Oh, nice. If, if I recall. I might not recall, but... <laughs> <laughs> but what I have on my little list here is one guy with three hit points left. So Okay. It's all right. He is dead. So I'm going to take my two nice. swords and cross them and then shing! His little head comes off. And that is seven for our group. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing Yoda for the win. I like it. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, I do. Super, super, super. So, hooray. <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, that was, that was you know, they're, they were diseased giant rats, and they could have you know, given you diseases, and they took down the wizard, sorcerer, what are you? Warlock. Warlock. <laughs> Warlock. <laughs> um, so, yeah. for I just healed Quinn for nine points of healing hit points. I'll give you three more, Quinn, from Lay on Hands. So kind of you. And if you can, just adjust your character sheet with that or not. It don't matter as long as you keep as long as you keep track somewhere of of where everybody's at. Um, how many total was that? Twelve total. Oh, yeah, that'll take him that almost back. That brings me up to thirteen. Cool. Nice. Um, I have never done this before. Tell me if I can do this, my master. <laughs> Once per short rest, you can use a bonus action to regain one D ten plus one hit points. Yeah, that's blowing hit dice. So any short rest, um, every level that you have, you get a hit die, and every short rest you can blow that hit die to regain hit points, plus your constitution bonus. It's called second wind. Is that is that what everybody oh. gets? Oh, you're talking about some kind of feat. That's awesome. Aren't it just is limited use. So you know, on the on the thing, it says all attack action, bonus action, reaction, mm -hmm. other, and limited use. That is one of the things that are listed below that. And I said, well, I have never used that, and we just had a short rest, and I am down eight. So if I do that, is that legal, or do I have to wait for somebody to heal me or a short rest or something? Oh, uh, second I, wind? 
Yeah. It's just an action, isn't it? Is it a yeah, bonus it's, action? It's, or an action? A bo it's a bonus action. Wow. Um, one time per short rest, you can uh, use a bonus action to regain 1d10 plus 1 hit points. So, yeah. Yeah. Can I do that anytime or does it have to be during battle? Uh, once per short rest. Okay. Yeah. That's a really know. cool feat. Yeah, is that, is this or, from being a rogue? Or? I literally just That's found a, it in there. I have a, no idea. Oh. It's a fighter. Oh, a fighter. Fighter deal. Because cool. he's whip is a level one fighter, level one rogue. So he's got a lot of really kind of crazy, cool, weird stuff going on where he oh. can mix and match. Can I suggest that we take a long rest? And go to sleep. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to do that down here in this this room where you're at, or do you want to? Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Why don't we go through to that area the where the passageways that turn? Yeah, that oh, first where the that, mummies were. That first room that you came down into? Yeah. That seems safer. Or the throw up room? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm yeah, throw up room, which it really isn't a throw up room, but that's okay. It kind of looks <laughs> like throw up. Um, but yeah, if you all go back there, uh, there's one door to the north, that, and there's Probably some stuff that you can put oh in front of there. You can keep guard. Uh, but you think you can rest uh, comfortably enough there for the next six to eight hours or whatever. God, if only I'd taken a pillow. Oh, <laughs> 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 I go curl up in this little oh, corner with my pillow and blanket. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so so i'm guessing you go back here uh take a long rest regroup uh recombobulate and uh pick it up from there whenever we pick it up from there i guess wait any chance that we level up i didn't think we the fought anything if only we had done the monkeys, we could have leveled. Right. <laughs> but, I, uh, I think it'd be... But uh, we also did all of last week's, all that top seriously, player. Seriously, seriously, Killer Kitty, if you had beaten the monkeys, you would have kind of pulled it up to level five. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> did you those, hear him? He said that those <laughs> monkeys were like over 100 or something like that. Yeah. So well over 100. Each, yeah. each, each. <laughs> Did just clear that whole level above us? Each and there were two of them. <laughs> like no joke. Um, I think we can do it. Let's go. <laughs> I, I think. I think. I think. I feel I love like your enthusiasm. Just a little bit more exploration, <laughs> a little bit more treasure. Just, um, just the treasure have a, a total count of how many gold pieces we have. Like, well, do we? I have, know we got two hundred from the one chest. Have Dang, we even uh, found a? Have we even found a magical weapon? Have no, we not yet? No. This no, is what Ed I found had. plate mail that jacked him up to twenty. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that was better that than any mail. of my armors on my other guys. <laughs> and the great sword that Scotty couldn't handle. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> well, hey, what oh, I sorry. Have, what I have you know, for gold, Scotty, you're a great dwarf. Brother, cousin, so I know son, you are 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 well loved. True story, a place of love for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, so twenty five hundred silver pieces, two hundred gold pieces, four hundred gold pieces, forty gold pieces, one hundred thirty five silver pieces, two thousand silver pieces. Like, I don't, there's a bunch of stuff that you could add up. Um. <clears throat> And it's a good question, but beating up some giant rats and some skeletons? 
Well, yeah, but we also killed everything upstairs too last week. Yeah, but so there it, was it's not just of, this week. Well, what, just throwing it out you, there. You, you killed a couple of things. What what did you kill? You killed uh, a couple of bamboos, Those a big lizard. Bamboos. You did Wicked meet lizard. those. You know what? You know what? You did meet those two other factions. You did meet those two other factions. Who's just Scott thinking we're on Scott level Muir. four of this place, but we're only second level? <laughs> you know what? Um, Don't cave. Don't cave. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. I, I think everybody gets level three. <laughs> right. Everybody gets level three. <laughs> Woo! Thanks. You have That's a exciting. bunch of treasure. You have a bunch of stuff. You've discovered a bunch of areas. And and you have gotten to a point where you're starting to understand, I think, some of the political aspects within the pyramid and what's going on, you know, bigger story and, you know, whether or not you want to try to reunite the tribes to take out Zargon or just destroy them all and take it all over yourself. I don't know what you're going to be doing, but, but I do. It's a good point, Ed. Um, I wish we'd gotten a little bit further tonight, but uh, that's actually good for me and kind of what I expected. So um, um, I'm actually ahead for next week if we need to play next week, <laughs> although I think Chris is going to be back. Um but yeah, I, th I think absolutely you guys have done a great job. I think this has been a really fun little campaign. I didn't think it would go this long even, but I'm glad that you guys are liking it and want to keep going with it. And as long as you do, we'll keep doing it. So uh, absolutely, definitely think you guys are ready level three because what's coming up around the next couple of quarters Monkeys. You'll probably be grateful <laughs> to have level three. So do spend some time. And if anybody wants to talk about characters, character development, skills, spells, whatever, um, let me know. I, I I don't know too much about it. I, I've always been a ranger or a fighter or a paladin or a rogue uh, or a bard. A bard. <laughs> a bard. Thunder bard. That's what I think about level three. Of oh, that clip so 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 much, Ed. That is level three. <laughs> that is level three. Yeah, so I think at least uh at least some of you should get some really school uh, really cool skills and features and benefits at level three uh you might be able to choose you know pass on where you want to develop your character so think about that and again if you have any questions um i'm happy to help there are also tons of ton of ton a ton of resources online where you can find all that stuff um but yeah Level three. Woo! We made it. Awesome. Well, thank you for everybody that watched. I don't know if you guys are still up or not, but thank you. Everybody out there watching us, too. But I think we're going to call it. <laughs> All cool? right. Thank you, everyone.